your little Rui. Whoo, what a voice. Mark's going to say hello. Hello, everybody. Hey, Hi, Mark. Mark. Hello, Hi, Mark. Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi. Everybody having fun already? We just started. We have sure. yep. well, Only because you're you. here now. <laughs> My what? Get a haircut. Or get a haircut, Never. you hippie. Never. <laughs> Rock, a letter said only because you're here now. He said we're having fun. Good. Well, carry on and have a good time. Look, Mark, do you know that that video of you dancing behind Susan has gone viral? Clip <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, Rob. Clip so. it so that it's there. That'd be hilarious. I don't think so. But hi, Ben. Haven't seen you in a while. Yes. Hey there. Good. To, good to see you. Yeah. It's just. Uh. It's. I was. I was telling Rob. I. Uh, I, it was fun last time. I just. It's hard for me to block out this much time on a, on a night. Just got. I got so many things going on. But. Uh, good to see you guys. Yeah. All right. Have fun. I'll check in later. Bye. Stay, stay within earshot so you can help. Thank you, Mark Edwards. Categories. Okay. So I'm going to break you guys Bye, out. Bye, Mark Edwards. And okay, so number one is going to be Romero. So I guess Faith is going to come in on a different line when she gets a chance, right? Okay. Ian, so, Ian Bryce, for no, your benefit. No. no, no, I'm just saying for Ian Bryce's benefit or new people. Uh, in a moment, Susan's going to put us into rooms. Just press the button when it appears on your screen. It's, I think it says join room. Uh, your screen will dissolve and your face will melt off, and then you'll come back in another room with your new teammates. So just be prepared. <laughs> Don't panic. It shouldn't hurt too long. And Julie is going to be number three. So let's put her in the lead in room three. Hey, Richard, it's just like being pruned by the time variance authority. It is just <laughs> like being hey, pruned. Hey, hey, hey. No spoilers, people. Has everybody gotten to read that book I recommended last week? Um, for sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, we all read it three, days. Read yep. three times. Definitely. <laughs> Anthony, I put it on my birthday list, but that's a month um, from now. Uh, the the Hail Mary Project Project. Hail Mary. Yeah, Project Hail Mary. Very good, you guys. Hurry up and watch it, read it, or whatever, so that I can talk about it. Getting on my nerves now. You're starting to get on my nerves now. Um, <laughs> It, once you start, you're going to find reasons to finish finish listening because it's so good. It goes really fast. Okay, so let me just double check. This looks good. This looks good. Okay, Kelly. There's Peggy's going to lead that room. And oh, oh, Kevin said that he was driving to St. Louis or flying to St. Louis or something. And so he's out. <laughs> What does Hamilton say? Yeah, Hamilton's all over this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Good uh, idea. I think we always have that person in this room with these people. So I'm going to take that person and exchange them with somebody who probably... And again, for the new people, what Susan is doing is she's unrandomizing the random selection of Zoom to put people in breakout rooms. Right. I love this. I love that. This is great. You guys just should keep on. Or maybe she's avoiding fights. We don't know, Rob. Well, there's that too. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to your rooms. Um, you don't have to wear your mask because you've been so good and almost everybody here has been vaccinated. So that's great. I know I'll be happy about that. And go to your rooms. You're going to create a name your team so the people who are newer to this just follow along you'll be fine just push buttons when you see them appear in front of you and um everything will be great so i'll see you guys in about five minutes something fun and don't come back with a team name called something fun
Okay, so I pause this because this is like the most boring thing in the world. Downstairs. Here comes Karen. I will put. Where is Caspian? Caspian's fourth, right? Caspian's going. He's got a category. Yeah, I think he's fourth. Let me see. Yeah, he's fourth. So I didn't put anybody in. Mm. He will eventually be in four. Do you have me down for next week? No, I don't think I have anybody down for next week. Let me look. Oh, right. Okay, I think I said last time, but yeah, if you have an opening, could put me down for next week. Rob, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, Karen. This Hi, is Karen. Karen. Hi, Susan. Um, I just want to say how much I appreciate how kind and considerate it was of you to have that 80s category when I was there. Oh. I understand you held it from the previous week, and you were right. It was absolutely delightful fun for me. Oh, you're welcome. I, I didn't notice so much the, when I did it the first time, your reaction, but I actually watched the video of, of that <laughs> week, and you were just swaying to every song. You were like, I, most people there were staring, like concentrating, you see the smoke, <laughs> and you're going, mm. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's pretty, it's, 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 refreshing to take a trip down memory lane and it's also that it's also that i'm with all these brainiacs with this expert knowledge and i'm like oh i know this one <laughs> <laughs> finally she knows she's like i know this one no, that i noticed this week too like i don't think siri had finished reading the second line and you're writing it down with a big smile <laughs> and everyone else is looking like uh, i don't know i have no idea That anyway, was th cute. thank you. You're yeah, quite welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay, so she's going into room one. Okay. Everybody. Hello. Karen. How are you? I saw Karen last night too. She came out to have, have a glass of wine with us. Uh oh, what happened to Ian? Oh, there he is. He's here. Okay. He's here. He survived. He, he made it through. Survived the transition. All right, good. Okay, good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Karen, you appear to be driving. She's just faking it. She's faking it to make us all nervous. She's, oh, she's yeah. sitting in the car with the, with the, uh, um, yeah, look at her looking out the window. Like she's really, really driving. <laughs> the, intently looking down the road. Yeah, she's not looking down the road. She's looking off to the side. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road, Karen. Are you going by my house? I should go out and wave. Uh, uh oh, now, she, now she's flipped the car. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm afraid is going to happen in real life. We, we knew that was going to happen when she just kept looking out the window. Zoom drive or drive and zoom or something. <laughs> This is what uh, Kevin said. Wow, here. that's a huge fine in this country. If you did that, that's a real, that's absolutely. What? Forbidden. Trying to do Zoom while you're driving? Absolutely. You are distracted by something happening oh. other than what you should be concentrating, which is your driving. Can you imagine that just... and be sideways at the same time? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't believe it. Yeah, even in Sri Lanka, if the police catch you talking on your cell phone yeah. driving, they will yeah. gun down on you like a damn ton of bricks. Yeah. I was told it's a requirement to talk in text on your phone while driving in Italy. <laughs> Every, everybody does over there. When I was there, they were saying, oh, yeah, everybody does. Plus, like, they all talk Whoa. with their hands. So, like, there's only one hand on the wheel, you know, at maximum. <laughs> you know, in Sri Lanka, there used to be a lot of uh, drunk driving. But uh, what five years ago, they really cracked down. And even if you're slightly above the alcohol level, they would put you in jail immediately. I mean, overnight. But What's the alcohol Sorry. limit in Sri Lanka? Pardon? What, what is the blood alcohol limit? Do you know? I can't remember the uh, actual number. Is but it stronger than here or less? I think it, no, the, for, if you're caught dry, driving, it's le less than here. Yeah. In Australia, it's 0 0.05. That's the limit. Oh, that's strong. Yeah. Here it's 0 0.08, but it's less than here. Yeah. But, but the, the, what being put in jail without any questions asked, that's a big discouragement because Sri Lankan jails are not places you want to be. <laughs>
When's the last time you were in Sri Lanka? Oh, about four years ago. Oh, Three or four years. That's not so long ago. No. Um, Susan, I don't know if you intended to give me powers, but I do not have them. <laughs> I have powers. Is that a hint? Um, I was just letting you know because usually you give it to me like right when I come in. So I wanted to make sure you were aware. Thank okay. you. Is um has anybody talked to Adrian? Do we know if she's showing up tonight? She won't be showing up until later. She's uh indisposed. Okay. You don't have a recording something instead of this, right? Do you? <laughs> he's, he's quiet. I'm sorry, what? You don't have her, you don't have her on some sort of assignment recording something. Oh no, I, I didn't know you were talking to me. No, no, no. Her parents are visiting or something. So. Oh, oh, okay. Karen's doing stunt driving again. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's on her side. <laughs> she's only pretending to drive. I think we think she's sitting out in front of her house. Oh. Karen, so drive upside down. She's in front of your drive house. Drive upside down. We want you all the way upside down. Oh, I can't we hear anything. We want to see your hair fall this way. <laughs> oh, I want to see her braids go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't distract her. Be nice, people. <laughs> I'm surprised the people from Australia don't already do that. Something yeah. happened. Well, they are upside down. It just, <laughs> well, it just Zoom, Zoom automatically address. Well, effect. we don't. We we don't oh, drive no. using our cell phones. Is that working? <laughs> no, the self the uh, the. Somebody is somebody saying something. Is it working? Who said that? My Who wife? said what? Somebody what? says, "Is it working?" What is what working? I'm I working. Know. I heard somebody <laughs> say, "Is it working?" I thought there was. E e wow! Rolling, Did Bob. That, that, that was an EVP, Rob. Oh, oh wow. That, now I believe it because that was pretty clear. <laughs> okay, let's start group names. So here we are. We are back on season two of Trivia with Social <laughs> Trivia with Susan. And we are in game 62, 62. And we are on July 15th, 2021. Oh, no. Can you believe it? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But let's go. All right. Let's get our group names. So we're going to have the five games, the five names of the competitors tonight are going to be in these five rooms. So room number one, Alan, Aaron, Faith, Romero, Kyle, and Rob. What is your name tonight? Weaponized ham slammers. <laughs> nice. Weaponized ham slammers. You can ask Aaron to explain that one. Uh, yeah, please, Aaron. Do you have a reason for that? Re read the oatmeal comic that you linked to, and you will find out what wombats do that makes them weaponized hand slammers. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, there you go. That I, can't, I could go into detail, but it'll take too long. I mean, we'll, we'll do the whole round. Do yeah, that. we don't want to go too long. All right, so room number two is Avi, Bob, Karen, Kelly, Leonard and Peggy, and what is your name tonight? A square of squares squaredly squared. Oh my God. Okay. A math thing for sure. <laughs> Can we just thing. abbreviate that to Zen 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 stick? Yes. Squaredly a word? Can we use yes. square root? No, it's, well, apparently it was a word, a, enough of a word in like the 1600s. I and mean, this was written as an explanation for what Zen 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 uh, uh, oddly, this was the original title of uh, Ben's podcast. Oh, it a was. square, square, <laughs> square, square, square. Yeah. <laughs> and we are being joined right now by one new person. So Everybody. it's Robin Welsh, who I also had dinner with last night. Hello, Hi, Robin. Robin. She's not me. So, sure, Ben, you should come over with us. My goodness, people. Please. All right, room number three, the room that is three that will be named something else other than room number three in a moment, which is Radford, Isabella, Jamie, Jeff, Julie, and Wilma. 17 years for four minute view. Huh? Oh, 17 years for four minute view. Does this have something to do with the space flight? Yeah, 17 years uh. of development. All right, put that on the chat so I can copy it so it's spelled the way you would like it to be spelled. Is that how long they were in, in actually in what we could call four minutes? Space, four minutes? Zero G probably. Oof. Yeah, they didn't even they didn't even actually cross the, the line. So it, it depends on whose definition of the line yeah, you use. Yeah. They passed NASA's definition. All what, right. What's, so, what's that? What what? 
And how many um, kilometers? No. It's 50 miles. But the Did other one's 60, right? The, the, other was, the other one's 100 kilometers. <laughs> did they go as high as Alan Shepard did? No. Alan Shepard went um, 125 miles. So well above. So twice as high as the bigger of those two. How did you know this isn't the category that Romero's going to be doing tonight? <laughs> we <don't. Scott. laughs> That's Room number four. Mean, this is Benjamin, Gail, James, Newman, and Carl. What is your name tonight? If Briar doesn't retire, our fat's going to be in the fire. Go ahead. <laughs> and to all those people who are non-Americans who Supreme might Court. not know Supreme what you're Court. talking about. Supreme Court. Supreme Court. They want him to retire. I feel bad, you know, because I think that 80s, the news, you know. Yeah, get out of the way. You're going to die soon. Get out of the way. I know. I think that's really like, rude. Oh. To be fair, an eight-year-old did die. hit my car today, so. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, um, an 80-year-old did hit my car this week, so. Oh, that makes it okay. <laughs> Isabella, you are more likely you to hit are an 80-year-old's car than an 80-year-old is to hit your car. I no, don't our, know our, our neighbor, our neighbor across the street, that. she's a she's a minister, and one of her parishioners was, I guess, I think she overcorrected and hit my car. Oh, apparently she was 90. Anyways. <laughs> I'm a bit salty minute. about that. Getting older every you moment. 10 years to hit your car. <laughs> she was trying to lay hands on it. She might have been overcome why. with the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so room number five is Deborah, Ian, Janine, Mono, and Saunders. Oh, I put two yeah. Australians in the same team. How did that happen? There you go. Our team name is We're on Fire, which relates to the Australian fires and oh. the fires in the United States. Oh. Are you guys on fire over there? No, no, no. In the, in last year, the big fire, but Oregon and California. Yeah, there's a fair number of them up in Oregon. Yeah. All right, put it in the chat. The only thing that when I can say about the wildfires today. is that I read today that they're saying that as the tech, the technology is actually improving and they're getting better at at um, all the things that has to do with wildfires. They've got a lot of statistics. We're on fire. Is that it? That's it. We're on fire. Okay. Very easy. Australia doesn't have anything left to burn. What? Jeez. <laughs> Oh, well, it, it does. We're gonna get those it hoop grows snakes. back. Is the problem? It Rock grows back. Hoop snakes. They're gonna get them any moment now. All right. So tonight, our sixty-second uh, trivia game, season two, weaponized ham slammers versus a square of square squaredly squared versus seventeen years for four-minute view versus if buyer doesn't retire, our fat's gonna be in the fire versus we're on fire. May the best team win. All right. The better, may the better team win. May the most amazing team win. Okay, <laughs> Romero, I just gave you the uh, powers. Team. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I am. Okay, so. So right. again, for the benefit of anybody new, uh, Ian, uh, the questions will be read out. Just contemplate the questions. You can make a note of them if you wish. Then when we go back to our rooms, we discuss the questions. So don't blurt out the answers. Oh, yeah. And everything's in the chat. All the questions should be in the chat. And don't disparage if you don't think you have any clue as to what the question, the answers might be. Because once you get into your room and you start talking to people, usually there's some sort of consistence, uh, some sort of brain... Okay. Or whatever. Anyway, it's almost time for you to go out. Huh? Yes, I know. Yeah, Ben. <laughs> okay, so Romero, give us your category, and then um, if um, Kelly will do the honors of meeting everybody. Okay, so the uh, category is the Tour de France. Ooh. 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 Meeting everybody in three, two, one. I didn't. Ca uh, it was. My internet was breaking up very quickly when you said the category. Can you say it again? The category is the Tour de France. So the Tour de France is going on right now. It uh, started earlier in July and it will go until Sunday. So Sunday is going to be the last day of the race. Uh, so there's only a few more days left. All right, uh, everyone ready? So uh, let's see. So the first question uh, is, 
So the, the tour consists of a series of stages or in other words, daily races held around France. The Tour de France is known as one of the three grand tours. Name one of the two other countries that hosts a grand tour. So that's number one. Okay. Number two, the overall winner of the race is the rider with the lowest aggregate time of all the stages. They are awarded a yellow, a yellow jersey before being stripped of all of his wins. This American rider had the most overall wins. Who was this rider? All right, number three. In addition to the, the yellow jersey, the overall winner, there are three other jerseys that are awarded. The green jersey given to the best sprinter, the white jersey, the overall winner under the age of 25, and this other jersey awarded to the best mountain climber, also known as the king of the mountain. What is this jersey? So sorry, I missed the, the three in that one. All right, number four, where was the age of the oldest competitor uh, to be in the Tour de France? Uh, the answer is has a range. So it's a uh, plus or minus five years. So if you are within plus or minus five years, you get a point. Is that ever or this year? Ever, yeah, in okay. any of the Tour de France events. All right, number five. After watching a stage of the Tour de France, this famous British rock singer was inspired to write a song. The promotional video included 65 nude women riding bicycles, and the cover contained a picture of a topless woman riding a bicycle. So you're supposed to say who the singer is. All right, six. The race across America is a coast to coast bike race held yearly. The distance is approximately uh, 4,800 kilometers and is shorter than the longest Tour de France, which was 5,745 kilometers. This famous skeptic participated in the inaugural race held in 1982 and won third place out of four competitors. Okay. Uh, number seven, which of the following was the origin of the Tour de France? And this is uh, multiple choice. So A, members of the French army started the event to showcase a huge feat of endurance. B, a newspaper started as a way to attract readers from a rival newspaper. C, Michelin, the French tire company started as a way to market their tires. Or D, it was started as a way to showcase the beauty of France and attract tourism. Uh, number eight, cheating has always been a part of the tort's history. Which of the following has not been identified as an attempted method of cheating? And this is also multiple choice. So A, while riding through his hometown, one rider's fans ran into the street to block his opponents. B, to increase his speed while descending, a rider carried, out, carried bottles filled with mercury. C, a rider used a rocket disguised as a water bottle for a quick burst of speed during a sprint. Or D, a rider tied one end of a string to a car and the other end to a cork, and then he was pulled uh, by the car while biting the cork. Okay. Uh, 
And then number nine, in the 1920s, riders in the tour used this well-known carcinogen to open up their lungs before starting a long mountain climb. And then the last one is uh, number 10. Uh, this documentary, named after the son of Nedelius, the craftsman in Greek mythology, won an Oscar in 2018. It explored the world of doping and cycling and the Olympics and eventually revealed a secret government sponsored doping program. What is the name of this documentary? These look excellent, Romero. Congratulations on your first try at uh, creating a category. These all look like um, even yeah, I have a couple. Very, very interesting questions. Yeah, and these I, aren't like who, what, you know. Punch and Judy. And I want to add for Ramirez, for Ramirez's sake, when you're in the rooms, don't talk about who won today's stage or yesterday's stage because we have not watched that yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't watched any of them, so you're safe with me. All right, so we're going to break out to the separate rooms. Caspian and Jamie are here. Hi, hi Caspian. Hi, Jamie. You're going to be on the team named... I do have a, I do have a question though. Oh, if yeah. Briar doesn't retire our fats in the fire. If Briar doesn't retire our fats in the fire, that's the team name you're in. <laughs> Can I ask what does this stage mean after watching a stage? Does that mean a, a yearly event? Does yeah, it hold a so stage? Uh, yeah. The Tour de France consists of 21 races and each race happens. Uh, well, a race happens during a year, so the, the Tour de France is twenty is made up of twenty one smaller races. So a stage is basically like um, one of those twenty one days. You know, they they ride from one town to another. So one day's event. There's different like sections of the race. Yeah, it's like it yeah. started on the I think the twenty eighth, and they they ride every single day except they get a break on Monday. And Each day is like a new section. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, like and they're they're riding around France. They're in the Pyrenees right now. So it's each day's run. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, yeah. OK, Any fantastic. Anybody else? Romero, you are you familiar with how to jump from room to room, do you think? Uh, I think I should be able to figure it out. OK, and I've given you the power. So you are, you are set to go. Don't give anything away with your expressions when you're in the rooms. Okay. That is the biggest. Um, Problem and stay out of your own room as much as you can because it's it's going to be recorded. So that way you can go back and listen to it later, and it's more fun to go into the other rooms. All right. Okay. So unless we have anything else that I need to know about, oh, Romero, go go into your own room right before you hit to return people. Right. Otherwise, Susan has to play some games. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll, That'll I'll happen anyway. All right. So let's get Caspian and Jamie into their room, and we're set to go. And, oh, Robin's got to go into her room. Robin, 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 tonight? Robin. I'm assuming she has her. But what? Who else is presenting tonight? Um, Julie's presenting and, wait, let me get to my right thing. Julie, Peggy, Romero, Caspian, and Deborah's got bonus. Okay. You're last, you're fourth, I should say. Okay, sounds you good. Gotta put Robin in her room. Which room is Robin in? Hamilton. Hamilton. We've got almost even things. Let's put you over here. I would love to be in Ben Radford's room. I haven't seen him forever. Okay, I can manage that. Okay. Nope, I put you in the wrong room. Don't go there. Don't go. Uh, Well, then the answer can't. Then the answer can't be Lance Armstrong, can it? It is because he's he won seven years in a row. He he was stripped. He won them, yeah. but then afterwards they went back right. and stripped yes. him of the title. So it still counts the fact that, as far as the records go, he still won them. 
No, as far as the record goes, there have been no official, like he won them at the time, but they retroactively have taken that away. So there it, are it, no, there are no winners between 99 and 2005. So this it's is not, not like, it's not a trick question. There's this not is a, not a trick question. No. They yeah, it's Lance Armstrong, the guy who's only got one ball, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's not like baseball. They don't just mark it with an asterisk. They simply take it away. From they you. take it away. It's gone. <laughs> they take your it's, mic away. And you interestingly, can't. Uh, Aaron might be the only one in the, who would care, but you know, I knew this one because in Loki, one of the Loki variants <laughs> was shown wearing a yellow jersey as the Tour de France winner. And yeah. some post post episode commentary mentioned Lance Armstrong and being stripped of the jersey. It's the only reason I know this. I know this because of the answer to number three. We're up to three. Number three. three. No, there's a one that's coming up. Is that red? No, it's polka dot. Polka dot? It's polka dot. Okay. How, how is that a color? Uh, or, that's just that that is that is the king of the mountain jerseys. The polka what dot is this jersey. jersey? Polka dot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any idea about the age? Uh, well, that's I, to give it a five year range. You know, that's that must be. That's pretty good. The yeah, is, and it says her competitor. It doesn't say they won, so probably somebody in their eighties. Uh, no, it would. I, I don't think it's going to be that old. But there's a lot of hard stages in the Tour de France. I think an eighty year old would have a trouble with some of those mountain stages. Well, you're I right would, because it's not when you you have to be on a team. You can't just sign up like at the Boston Marathon or something where anybody could run. Well, not when, when well, was, you're talking. You're talking. This is this is currently. Like yeah, when was the, the first? When the, was first the first one was in 1903. So it's quite likely that it was somebody back in the early days when it wasn't yeah. nearly the this competitive as it is now. That's true. Because I've looked like I think people that competed back in like the 1900s they had their time is three times as as slow. They're yeah. three times slower than the person that has won recently. I think a safe age would be 75, and that way it hits. 70 to 80. I think 70 might be too high. Whoa, really? I think probably 50, maybe. Really? Uh -huh. I was thinking 55 to catch yeah. 60, 60 and 60. 60. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's an older person, but if you guys think so. It's just competitor. It doesn't mean they won. No. Right. Yeah. There's, I think the oldest person in the race right now is 41. Oh, but and so, they, yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't even catch that. I thought it would be somebody who won they were talking about. Just, no, just, just, just anyone no. who entered. Anyone yeah. who enters. Like the, I mean, the I've youngest. seen like 80-something-year-old people in the New York Marathon. Like, you yeah. know, they're, right, they're, 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 they're going to take a day different. to finish, but they do it. This is a competitive yeah. to get onto the team. This is, this is you. you're on teams. You have to be able to make time cutoffs, et cetera. Oh, okay. It's more like it, the Olympics. But did you, yeah, did you have to? It, uh, faith in the in the early days did you have to be able did you have did they have teams did you have to be on a team i don't know <laughs> i don't that's know. why i think it's older okay but uh, going on uh the next one is uh freddie mercury oh, oh okay yeah Oh, it's like, I, I want to one. ride my bike i got one yeah, to be that do, 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 no there's one way Huh? Huh? I want to bicycle. ride my bicycle. Okay. I, I think the going. next one is Shermer. And the next one's Shermer. Michael Shermer. Okay. That's why I know a lot about the cheating because he's gone into depth about the cheating scandal. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you can there's interview at least one or two episodes of him somewhere talking about in detail about what happened. Oh. You know, the background on it and everything. Does anybody know the origin story? Of what? The next question, tour, tour de France. Oh. This was interesting because that means the other three are correct. Oh, no, no. No. Number eight. Number eight is the one that I was thinking about. The... I'm going to guess C is wrong because there's Michelin star restaurants. Yeah. So would yeah. they have done two things? And he spelled Michelin wrong, didn't he? No. At the tire company? No, I think that's right. Not positive, but I think okay. that's right. I do know that a newspaper company is often credited with creating the yellow jersey or, i think it's probably two that looks really good that sounds like something that a newspaper would do you mean b b yeah and well it started in 1903 so that that i'm a positive about there were quite competitive newspapers back then 
I so, think so we, how would that work to to attract readers to one newspaper? Because they're the only one covering it. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't another newspaper cover it? Because maybe they banned them. Or, or they, they didn't have people on, reporting on it. Yeah, at least the first year. I don't know. Um, I like I the Army one. I like that one, too. Yeah, that's what I was going to go with. But just a guess. I was thinking that was unlikely. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same. Hmm. I mean, 1903. Exercise. In 1903, really none of this, it, there'd be nothing particularly romantic about it. It was just let's let's go and show us how show everybody how the foreign legion are the best the best soldiers yeah. in the world or something. Well, I would think they've been really fit in 1903. I mean, you're out there cutting your own wood and you know hitching up your horses and all that. But this is France. Well, still <laughs> they have wood. They have horses. I I don't know. I'm only a guest in your room. I'm a humble guest. I think, I think B. it's B. Yeah, I think B because what are what are people going to do for entertainment? They're going to read the newspaper. It right. sounds like something that a, 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 a news agency would do. Remember WKRP with the with the turkeys? <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati? Yeah, know. with the turkeys. Okay, let it be known that I think it's A, but I'll I, go with yeah, B. I think it's okay. A too, but I'm not strong voice. So. I'll go with B. Okay. All right. Cheating. Aaron, you agreed with me, right? B is good. And Faith too, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, all right. Cheating has a big part of the tour's history. Wait, what did Kyle following. say? Um, I, I don't have a strong opinion on that one. Okay. So this is really cool because that means three others. So three correct. of these were done. That means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Mercury um, one doesn't make sense to me. I don't get how that would be an advantage. But that almost sounds like that's why it is something something. Right, tough. it does. I mean, why would why would Romero have written that? But I don't because think I, they would even count it as cheating. They would be like, you did a dumb thing that hurt your performance. But but what would you what would you use as a actually no, that would make sense. You'd want to increase your weight for a faster speed going downhill, right? Yeah, but then you gotta go uphill too. Yeah, right? you have to carry it up you the drop hill. It. You drop it to the side. Well, you'd want to throw no, it behind well, you yourself you to get momentum. Well, but you'd also you could have somebody hand you off the bottle. You're right. They have mm. they have domestiques that um. Ooh, and maybe downhill. Maybe downhill was first, so you just kept it for that part, and then you chucked it. Or you maybe. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The mountains. The mountains used to be in a different place than uh -huh. the old. <laughs> I think it's C. I think it's D. I think so too. I don't see how you could, you know, what size water bottle would you carry that you'd get a burst of speed off of the rocket that's instead of that. Well, we didn't yeah. say it worked. True. <laughs> and I that's just, probably how they got caught. Um, you know, D also makes sense because I mean, how could you not hide that? D sounds ridiculous. D, that sounds ridiculous. But if you go back to like 19, let's let's use 03 as an example when cars were just beginning to make their way into, into general use. So three, five, seven, ten, whatever. It sounds okay. like something somebody would try. But they would have a car in front of the, do they do that? Car yes. in front of the riders? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, they have cars riding now. They, they have the photographers and stuff. Well, they also have their bike support that rides yeah, around. And their bike has their bikes. And in, they can, in front of them, not behind yes, them? Yes, in front of them. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they be behind? Well, it depends on where they are in the race course. How so fast, if, how much farther are they from them? Um, it depends on where they are in the stage. Like when they start, they are literally like the peloton is literally on the back of a vehicle before they get released to, because they maybe we'll do like a five kilometer warm up before they go out. But if you, depending on where you are in the race stage, if you are way in the back, um, it's possible you could be riding your bike and there's cars next to you. Hmm. But, you know, the thing is, uh, you know, you can't, I, I would think that the cars can't be too close because they can't, that would be cheating using the drag of the, uh, of the, uh, of the car. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know. But it doesn't say how long the string was either. Though. But I don't think you'd want to bite onto the string. Well, you can't bite on the hands. cork. He tied it around his neck, and oh. that was the last time he did it. <laughs> no, he was, he was biting the cork, and I mean, you could, you could, if you've got a good set of teeth, you can hang on to a cork pretty well. 
once you start rolling. Like, it would be so obvious that someone's going to see it, especially if it's a very, uh, and there's other well, Maybe they tried this at the beginning when there I weren't any that. cameras. I don't well, buy that one. Well, and there's also, there's also a lot of areas, even today, that they ride where there isn't as much of a crowd around them. You know what? D just makes no sense because you got a string tied to a car. You got to be in front because those guys that go right in front of you. I yeah, mean, I think that, I, that, that, I think that's the least likely. How could how okay. another bike get in front of you if you've got a string to, to something? And listen, okay. why would it need to be a cork in his mouth? You would just like attach it to the vehicle. Yeah. You could you use need, like magnets. You need to be able to All drop. Right. We're going with D. We're going with D. Yeah. We're going to move on. Yeah. Okay. But you need right. to be able to drop the cork. If A, you got spotted, or, or B, or, or B, another bike was coming at you, or a bike went in front of you and hit the yeah. cord, uh, but then they would see the cord. But, so I don't know. But so. yeah, let's go with D. I right. think it's tobacco. <laughs> well, that sounds right. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, mm -hmm. cigarette, tobacco, or cigarette. Especially the French. Yeah. That or mozzarella. Hey, tobacco is <laughs> good for you. Um, this documentary. Icarus. Icarus song. is Daedalus's son. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's no. called Icarus. Is there a movie in 2018? Yes. I, don't, I don't remember that. Yep, I watched this. this um, is, it, they, is, is it just Icarus or it's is there Icarus. just Icarus? Is it good? Just Icarus. It is. It's actually, it, it's fascinating where they found out that Lance Armstrong wasn't the only one doping. And in fact, there's this big, huge issue with Russia and then doping with the cyclists. He was just Russia the best at been... it. Mm -hmm. Well, the and Russians, the Russians dope everybody. So yeah, the Russians. Well, this was, really this was they found they fancy. found that this was a big, big systemic thing because. Mm. All right, so let's go through them. And, you know, call it out if you have any uh, issues. Perhaps number one was Italy. Two was Lance. Polka dot jersey, uh, fifty five mm -hmm. plus or minus five years. Freddie Mercury, that seemed pretty solid. Shermer seemed solid. Uh, B was a newspaper starting it. D was the cork in the mouth. I <laughs> better not be. <laughs> and nine was tobacco. And 10 was Icarus. Mm -hmm. All right. 10 out of 10. Huh? 10 okay. out of 10, you think? Mm. I think those are great. Mm -hmm. Maybe nine. They're a good start. I think Romero will be happy. I think Maybe. he did a good job. He listened to me. He did a really good job. Well, I told I him. He'd be happy with the, uh, the scores. <laughs> I told him if he was, because he, he didn't tell me the category, but I told him that any questions you come up with, if you think it's too hard for people, make it multiple choice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's probably so. the best. And that looks good. No, he did a terrific job. These are great. Yeah. So these are, are, these are then these I'm surprised are he, he didn't do this one as multiple choice. No, but these are good. These are good, fair questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm surprised he didn't say anything about the one that just uh, happened, the problem with the woman who. Uh, Step oh, with Miss Where's Waldo is what we call her. We're done, Romero. Oh. I thought they would say something like, what is her, what was the, um, you know, what was written on the sign or something, or who was she saluting? I love the grandma, grandpa. Is that what it was? <laughs> That's what it said. Something, yeah. I knew something about grandma and grandpa. Yeah, oh, was, oh, the one who stepped was, out in front and made the accident yeah. happen? Yes. Yeah, her sign that. was a mixture of French and German. Like so they believe she was from Switzerland. Uh, Oh my gosh. They and found she, her, she but they're not going to charge her. So it's clearly what my mom told they me. They haven't done what to her? They were going to charge her. They were going to fine her for causing the accident. And I spoke with my mom about it. And she said that they did find her, but they opted not to charge her because she was embarrassed enough anyway. Oh, her life is ruined. <laughs> Can you imagine? Her, her and the Chicago Cubs guy who caught the ball, the foul ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that was a home run. Wait, wait, what happened with the Chicago Cubs? Steve, Chicago, Bar Steve Bartman. Chicago Cubs, I, I don't remember, like, was it 10 years ago? Uh, a little was, older even, yeah. He was, they, they Cubs finally made it to the World Series after decades. No, no, no. This was the, years. This was the, it was the, it was the, uh, the National League. Uh, oh, uh, and they were favored to go on. And, and yeah, and what is the, the in the eighth inning. It was a foul know, ball you know, that was playable it, the 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 uh, left fielder could have caught it except a fan reached out over the fence and caught and and snagged it and so it's just a regular foul ball at that point and the cubs went on to lose the series was it was that guy just uh, you know executed by uh, 
<laughs> oh, he, it was so unfair. The poor it guy, the guy, the guy, the guy has not been able to live. Well, at least they, they finally won the series. No, uh, he, he, he had a rough time and he like did what any, he done. did what any okay. fan would have done. I, I, have done I used there to go to Met games. I would never reach for a ball. No, no. But there was <laughs> other people any. around him doing it. If he hadn't caught it, someone else would have. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lucky guy. He got the ball. <laughs> okay. No, he didn't actually. Uh, one of the one of the one of the, uh, one of the one of the I think Harry at Harry Carey's uh, uh, bar they actually took the ball and they blew it up and they put it in the thing and they 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 blew it up <laughs> and he had to be specially escorted out of the stadium that night yeah like secretly brought out a back door and stuck in a cab. Yep, and he wouldn't even, and they, they they even invited him to celebrate the world's the World Series when they won it in 2016. He yep. wouldn't come. Yep. he just wanted nothing to do with it. He was done. People still probably had a grudge, and he might still be in danger. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Poor, but poor like guy. they said, if it hadn't been him, it'd have been somebody else. Yeah. All right. Yep. Good job, you guys. Yep. That is. I thought that was. I thought Susan was Richard because. I was just going to say that too. I am so confused. He changed his Wait, no, that is Richard. He's got the that background. Is Richard. Yes. That is Richard. Like, what is going like, on? It's Richard. People are strange. But it's, but it's just he wrote <laughs> now. I'm not wearing awesome. I'm not wearing green. Look at that. Who's in house Hamilton? Hamilton was just here a few minutes ago. He was wondering where you were. He's, he was here last week, all on time to talk I'm to you. Sorry. Going here. I'm Hamilton's sorry. Like fine. I was having yeah. dim sum in San Francisco. Yeah. I tried to explain it to him, but you know how cats are. <laughs> they just don't get it. All right. So we're all back. Great job. Re great job, Romero. We had, at least in our room, we, we enjoyed the category. So I hope everybody right. else did. I think we, I don't know. What do you guys think? Six, <laughs> average I loved it. Six. That was a fun that category. Really good. Like that. It was a fun yeah, category. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Good job, okay. Romero. We're not All right, so answer. let's go with our answers. Yeah, that makes sense. Romero, where are you? We'll see I'm how here. much our impressions change when we see here the answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go over the answers now. Um, All right, so uh, number one. So the tour consists of a series of stages. Uh, so the one of the name the countries that host the grand tours. So France, obviously, is one of those countries. Uh, Spain and Italy are the other two. So Spain has the Vuelta de España and Italy has the Giro d'Italia. So if you name one of those two countries, Spain or Italy, you get a point. Wonderful. Uh, and am I supposed to write the answers in the chat, right? If you can. Okay. I often uh, can't spell them. You, you could do them all at once at the end if that's easier. Whatever, it seems to be really okay. good at uh, getting these questions in here so i think you'll probably be fine on that okay so uh the next one is um the american writer that had the most overall wins but uh not anymore because they were all stripped from him is uh lance armstrong yep all right and then number three uh the other jersey in addition to the yellow, the green, and the white jersey, is the polka dot jersey. Uh, what hey, team. <laughs> this, yeah, they, they had a sponsor. Um, and so the sponsor was like a chocolate company. And uh, because the wrapper of the chocolate was polka dot, they made the jersey, the polka dot jersey. And then yeah. it's not a color, though. Yeah. He, he didn't but say color at all in that color. question. It didn't say color. It didn't say color. Nope. Oh. oh, oh it just what kind of jersey was it? mentioned other colors and then that. Oh, oh I tricked you. Assume. Yeah, you got sneaky. People were messing up with my rules too. I was snooping around and and they said, "Well, he said this." I go, "No," and I thought, "No, I." I didn't it's funny what we read. Yeah. Uh, did we, um, Kelly? Did we get that one? Yes, we put polka dot. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is who was the oldest competitor ever in the Tour de France, or what was the age? Uh, he was fifty years old. Yay! Yes. <laughs> and this happened in the nineteen oh four Tour de France. This was the second ever Tour de France, 
Good job, you guys. On my team, we I wanted seventy. Yeah, Susan wanted like ninety years old or something. No, I wanted seventy-five. <laughs> And I talked you back down because I've Thank seen you. these guys. Quads. We did discuss that it didn't say the oldest person to complete or even live through the end of the race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ride one inch, it's a competition. All right. So the next one is um, the singer that was inspired to write a song uh, after watching a stage was uh, Freddie Mercury. Yay! Yay! Was that song Bicycle Race? It was, yeah. Uh, he, here's, the, here's the actual uh, referenced uh, thing. So, oh, yeah, oh look at that. Uh, poster. Nice. He's He's just so a little bit. Thing. A little lower. Can, Can you low fact check their 65? Closer. There you cool. go. Wow. And I happen to have the album right here. So, there you go. Oh, there wow. <laughs> just happened to have. <laughs> All right. The next one. Uh, the skeptic that won or the that plays third in the race across America is uh, Michael Shermer. Yep. Yep. And then uh, number seven. So, um, which of the following was the origins of the Tour de France? The answer is B. Yes. Which, uh, started by uh, a newspaper as a way to attract readers from. Yay! The Wow, was, I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad I argued because I felt like B. Yeah. Thank you, Susan. We did it. <laughs> I argued on that one. Yeah. And number eight. So cheating has been a part of the tort's history. Which which of the following is, has not been identified as an attempted method of cheating? And I could identify because uh, it might come up in the future that this is true. So the answer is. See a writer using your body. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which one was it? The, the, the rocket. The water, the sky. Oh, oh, I thought it was the, we thought it was the cork. That means somebody tried to use a cork in their yeah. mouth? Yeah, in one of the earlier stages, they tied a rope, a string, a, a really thin string to a car, and then they were biting on the cork. But what if another bike wanted to go in front of you? <laughs> well, you're thinking this rationally. <laughs> they get yeah. a little spread out. If you're like, getting pulled by the, like right next to each other the whole time. Like, if, you're getting, if you're getting pulled by the car, no one's getting in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If it's a teammate, they share the cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that one was perplexing. So the next one, number nine. Um, this uh, well-known carcinogen was used to open their lungs. So I put in, in quotes, open. And it was tobacco. So the yeah. writer would smoke uh, tobacco uh, before going up uh, one of the hills. Would you accept, accept cigarettes? Cigarettes? Cigarettes, yeah. yeah. That would be acceptable. Yeah. I always have a big cigarette before I go on a long bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> Just opens the lungs. Right? Opens the lungs. You, you just making fun of it, Richard, because you're not French. They still all smoke everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's and then number number ten, the documentary uh, that uncover uh, a government-sponsored doping program. This was the uh, Russia that was sponsoring this doping program. Is Icarus. All right. Hey. Hey. Oh wow! My team kicked ass. Yeah. Voted so ours. The, the right. 10 killer was, well, no, I guess that makes sense. Oh, very, very good. Okay, so let's go over to the scores. All right, weaponized ham slammers. We got nine. Ooh. Kicked ass. That's good. Good job, Romero. That was your team. You didn't have the curse on you. <laughs> the curse of being your own good. team. That may still up. turn out to be the lowest score. That's good because the next person who joins goes on that team. Oh. Remember this, you gotta you gotta be st strategic, you know. All right, a square of square squaredly squared. Nine. Very good. 17 oh, years for a four-minute view. Seven. Ooh. Oh. They're just trying to get the next they player. outplayed us for the next player. If if Briar is it Briar? 
Briar. If Briar doesn't retire, our fat's going to be on in the fire. Ten. Ah. <clears throat> We're on fire. Eight. Eight. Good spread, you guys. What is that? Ten. Uh, that's nine, right? I think it's a good average. Very good average. Good job, Romero. Let me take away your special powers from you. Where are you on the screen? Oh, there you are. Good job. Very good. That was his first time, you guys. Good job. Very good job. Very, awesome very good. Well done, Ramiro. Woohoo! Good job, Ramiro. <laughs> now he's going to finish his GSOW training. Yeah. <laughs> now I have time. <laughs> now you have time. Okay, very good. All right, so we are at nine, nine, seven, ten, and eight. I'll show you the scores in the, in the next round. And then we'll take a break. So we're going to go to the next, the next, the next, the next, Peggy. which is Peggy. And where are you, Peggy? Peggy in Dallas. Where is Peggy? Peggy. Yay. Oh, there she is. Co host. Okay. This is fun because my category is also about sports, which we never have as a category. Oh, is it Tour de France? <laughs> no, it's Summer Olympics. Oh, good. Hey, muting in three, two, one. Have to. Don't forget to unmute. Okay, I just couldn't find my picture. All right, now that I'm unmuted, <clears throat> there are four sports debuting at the Summer Olympics this summer in Tokyo. I don't know why they're having this goddamn thing. It makes so, me so, Sorry to, to butt in. Should we be seeing what your script? Not yet, no. Do, are, are you? Okay. Because yes. that might lead to the answers. Okay. Yes, <laughs> there we go. So I need to see my script, though, or I won't know what to say. All right, so four, there are four sports debuting one of the following five is not having its first time at the Olympics. Is it karate, skateboarding, softball, sport climbing, or surfing? Mm. I'm trying to copy and paste. Hang on. Does that mean it's it? it Trying to think of how to ask this question without. It's the one that's not. It's but, the one but, that's not brand new this year. Okay, but but not necessarily previously. But but it might have been and removed and now returning, maybe. Correct. All right. Number two is. They didn't copy. Oh, it didn't. Okay, hang on. I don't think I entered it. You got to get Dallas to help you. There it is. Yeah, Dallas did it. Damn, Corgi smarter than me. <laughs> the next one is a true and false question. So this year, will there or will there not be co-ed artistic, formerly called synchronized swimming events? And... Where are we here? I haven't voted yet, so I don't know that you can answer that, but try it. So will there be co-ed, that is male, female swimming teams in the synchronized swimming, that they now have changed the name to artistic. It's now artistic, not synchronized. I don't know why. It got already all of a sudden. Weird. Number three is how many types of swords do they use in Olympic fencing events? How many types of swords are used in Olympic fencing? Number four, which of the following is not an Olympic boating water event. Oh, did that not get, so one of these is not an Olympic event, sailing, rowing, speedboat, or canoe. Mm. 
Number five. LC4. Oh, great. Okay. Enter again. There you go. The enter takes a hard, a hard entry. Evidently. Number five is how many previous times has Tokyo, the city of Tokyo, been the host of the Summer Olympics? How many previous times did Tokyo host Summer Olympics? Number six is, what country's team has dominated the competition in women's team archery events, winning the gold every summer since 1988? And then paste. I believe that I have a, hang on, I don't think you got all of it because I think I have some choices here. Yes, I do. So this is a actually, you'll have a choice of China, South Korea, Japan, or Switzerland. So that is a multiple choice question. I'll put that here. Wow, one, one country has won the gold every Summer Olympics since 1980. That's, that's amazing. It's impressive. It's an impressive dynasty. Number seven, what athlete has won the most gold Olympic Summer Olympic medals. And here we go. Paste, enter. Number eight, the 1900 Summer Olympics including a shoot, included a shooting event that was the only time animals were deliberately killed during an Olympic event. What animals were the unfortunate victims of this sport? Wombats. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're referring to the great Chupacabra massacre of 1935. <laughs> that was it. That's why we can't find those Chupacabra. <laughs> <knows> the <laughs> no, we to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Number nine. I love trivia because it's so trivial. What member of Britain's royal family competed at the 1976 Summer Olympics? And number 10 is, what is number 10? Has Africa, the continent, ever hosted, any city in Africa ever hosted a Summer Olympics? All right, that should be everything. That's it. Everybody Very good. Everything? Number, number seven. Um, the most medals in a single Olympics, or if they've competed in more than one Olympics, they had all of the medals. Together. Total, total, however many. Yeah. Okay. Of all, yeah. The most of all time. Very good. These look great. Let's go see. Oh, did I give you your powers? I didn't give you your powers, did I? I have powers. Oh, yeah, you have powers. Me. Okay. I can go to various places. All right. Go and see things. So I'm going to open rooms or you're going to open rooms? I got it. I got to give Kat right. to her room. And then I will be in the square of square, squaredly squared in a minute, which is, I think, where Karen's going. Yep. No, thank you for thank you for your declaration. We'll see I knew how, nothing about the Olympics. We'll see how well I, that I works. I just saw that I can I can watch them on my I have YouTube TV this time. I've never had anything like that before. So I thought, you know, maybe I'll watch Olympics this year for the first time ever. <laughs> okay. So sure. number one, I know that skateboarding is new this year. It is brand um, new. And sport climbing is also. Um I'm pretty sure that softball has been there before. Yeah, I was thinking that too. 
There will be karate and surfing as well. But is the question which one is 100% new or returning? No. Is when, not returning for, is not having its first time. Ah, so probably softball. So it's softball. Wait, okay. surfing. I think they've, haven't they had surfing before? I don't think so, but I don't know. But I know I've seen softball. Yeah, I feel like I would have watched surfing if they had had it before. Let's go with softball. Be cool to well, watch. in the short length of time that you have been alive. She could be watching old ones. <laughs> they have them available on the interwebs. Well, uh, Kelly. for those for which there were recording media. Kelly, yeah. did you watch Harry yet? I didn't, no. I've been, I had a class that ended today. So I've been working a lot. Okay. And have not had a chance to, sorry. So is uh, co-ed artistic swimming a thing i don't see why not but um at the olympics this summer right giant pool full of covid well the yeah well I mean, awesome. if they're gonna like co-ed might as well let covid single single gender yeah but is there anything else co-ed everything COVID. else is gender specific i thought except for like the 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 i'm thinking of the winter olympics like the the skating things with the, the, the mixed band. doubles the doubles yeah mixed doubles but i don't know if that would be the, so that there's precedent in the i think there's co-ed badminton for example um but i i don't know i have no this, knowledge in this area this is a crapshoot it who seems wants like to uh, dice dice we can um, make i think true it's probably true is true. even okay True is even, and it is a two. So we're going true. I think it's true anyway. For number three, there's three uh, swords. Really? Um, there's yeah, the there's, sharp uh, one, the pointy one, and the dull one. Do they, uh, do they use them all in the same time, or no? There's the foil, and there's the epe, um, and there's the saber. So you don't get to go choose. Those are those are the three I had. I didn't. Yeah. There's no. Uh, I, I used the ones. So. Bob and Avi. Paul's wearing his teeth. Bob and Avi, do you know that because you are fencers or because no, I, I used yeah, to fencer. hang out with? I used to be in ska and uh, hung out with fencers and yeah, I oh used to. Fence I know there was epee foil and saber, but I and I think that's it. I don't know. Yeah, there's any. there's no um unless yeah, they've suddenly right. added a new sword or yeah. something or removed one of them. So but um, is three, yeah, yeah, there's there's all three are like they're they're major parts of fencing. So. Peggy. I love I have, to, I have to interrupt to, to clarify a number one because I clarified for another team. They were having a real hard time with the question. Did you guys have a hard time with the question? Oh, we, well, we don't know what the answer is, but we think we got it. Okay. So but but the concept of the question is four of these are new, one of them is not new. Is returning, right. Okay, you got it. It's I don't know why they had a hard time with it because either it returning so or isn't going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're being generous because I think that could have given an advantage to some teams that figured it out because of your careful wording, but you're being generous. Yeah. I well, think apparently it wasn't careful enough for the other teams. Was it Rob? I think you worded it very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of it course Rob. it was Rob. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't just Rob. He infected his whole team. Oh, well, fine. Inspired them to inquire more <laughs> He's Read the fucking question. That's <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Right. Spread your knowledge on. elsewhere. Yeah, I need to. We were that. fine with it, by the way. It's why yeah. Peggy's the lawyer and Rob isn't. So. <laughs> well, that's yeah. Okay, <laughs> number five. I can't see. Four, four. Four. Let's four. do four. Oh yeah, four. Sorry. I don't think I canoe or speedboat. Speedboat. I can't that's see speedboat being an event. That's yeah, a, that's that's a like thing. How powerful is your boat? It's like I don't have one, so it's not very powerful. No, Maybe I don't think that it can be. Maybe they have to row it, and it's not turned on. It's, it's out of gas. A it's out of gas speedboat. <laughs> you got to pull it. Yeah. With a cork uh, in I'm, your I'm mouth gonna, on a street. I'm, I'm going to vote for speedboat. As as am I. Yeah. I know that the answer for number five um, is. I know that the answer number five is one or greater. 
Yeah, I, know. I agree with your assessment. Back in the 60s. Um, Sorry, remember 1964, I believe. 64, okay. I don't have a D3. Shall we say two? <laughs> I don't know. I think it it's, I like think it's, it's just one. Times. I think it's just one. Okay. I think it was oh, just 64. Okay. We only know we can recall one, so we're going to go with that. We'll go one. Yeah, and I, I seem to remember that being a big deal. It just feels like this one's going on forever because it was supposed to be last year. Right. What countries dominated? Okay, number six, I believe, is the United States, isn't it? Well, that's not one of the options. The options oh. are China, South Korea, Japan, or Switzerland. Oh, then it would well, not the first be option United, is it would not be the United States. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's the United States. Yeah. That's just but amazing to me. They must have an the amazing, uh, amazing uh, coach. <laughs> Yeah, it China. can't be the first one because it's misspelled. Chinia. Chinia. Um, Switzerland? Yeah, Don't they do a lot of archery over there in Switzerland? Well, what else do they do? Climb out. Yeah, make cheese. watches, eat chocolate. Make cheese. They make really good chocolate. They yeah, raise cows. They do. Yeah. They raise cattle. And they have really awesome mountains. But they 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 and can't solve that hole in collider. the cheese problem. You know, so, yep. But do they do archery? Probably. The women. I don't know. Well, I think so because don't the don't doesn't Switzerland require everybody to have a gun? And you can't have ammo, but you have to have a gun. And oh, so everybody's oh, everybody's no. always no. like no, no. no everyone ev everyone goes through the armed forces and learns to use a gun. Yeah, but. I thought it was required. And when and when they're uh, when they're active, they have to have the gun. But I don't think that after you leave, isn't the archery forces... more something from the open? Plane yeah, archery is not than... related to guns anyway. Well, it's a long. Well, it's it's a it's a projectile pointing. weapon. Yeah, long and, and if you're outside a lot, I would think maybe you would say, "I'll take up archery instead of my rifle." Yeah, but Switzerland, Switzerland I mean, is all about the crossbow. All about yep. the what? Crossbow. Rather than I'm good with Switzerland's. William Next Tell one. was a Swiss story. Oh, William Tell. That's right. Seven is Phelps, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Mike Phelps, 23. But what, or, what, what do we choose for number six? Anyone uh, object to Switzerland? Switzerland? Nobody said anything else. It, it doesn't. Oh. I just have a feeling, but don't worry about it. Is it Michael Wait, Phelps? They, they come husband? and go. It's not a biggie. Did, did Simone just, did, uh, take away his record? No. Okay. Yes, Simone Biles, I think, is the most decorated gymnast. Number eight is members of the non ruling party. <laughs> Um, it was a hell of an Olympic. I think it was pigeons or something. Uh, like pigeons. pigeons. It, were, it was the dodo birds. That that's how they got ex went extinct. They extinct them. Uh, they were already extinct. I think. When they when they had the Olympics in uh, in uh, Mauritania. No, they yeah. were peace doves. Can you imagine they were peace doves? And they shot them all. Peace archery. As long as it, as long as it wasn't chickens. I, 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 I like pigeons. Yeah. I like pigeons. Well, I don't really like As them. an answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I thought we were going with pigeons. I just wrote it down and kept going. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now this is Anne, Anne, Margaret. It's Anne. Princess Anne? Really? What did she do? It's Equestrian. Horses. horses, of course. It's she the, um, the fancy People horse think. stuff. It's the... She she horse. Horse. Dressage. 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 Yeah, only people with great wealth and time can do this support. So is it Mark? It's not Margaret. Is it Princess Anne? Isn't that her name? I think that's, that's right. I don't remember all their names, but I think that's the one it is. It's um, yeah, one of those. Okay, so unless you guys have a better but Elizabeth's sister. No, or no, she's dead. Daughter. It's not Elizabeth's daughter. It's one of. It's one of Elizabeth's nieces. So yeah, it's, it's, Prin it's Princess Anne. I'm pretty sure it's Anne. Yeah. Anne, okay, Anne. 
A N N. A N N E. Is there an E? Pretty sure. I don't remember that. Okay, I which doesn't matter. What African city has? I, I don't know. I don't think I. South Africa. What is it? No, South it's Africa? it has any African city. I don't think so. You don't have to identify. South right? Africa. When would they have Olympics? Long time ago. But that's not a city. But Johannesburg. I will say yes. I vote yeah, yes. Yes. Has there been a has there been Olympics in Johannesburg? I vote yes. I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Think, I don't think so. It's a big continent. I, yeah. Where else would it be? Egypt? You could be in Egypt. It could be in Ethiopia. No, not well, the summer. answer the answer could be no. I don't think it's I don't think there's ever been any. I can't think of anything. It's like both. where would it be? South, South Africa. Africa. It would I be think they I think they I think they recently won a future Olympics, but I don't think they've ever had one. But I, I'm I. I can't I'm, remember. Nothing's coming to mind. So I would I, go I, with no. I would say okay. Besides South Africa, where else would they be? Libya, <laughs> Somalia, uh, Eritrea, Madagascar. I, I think the answer is no. Let's, like, vote. Let's vote. Yes or no? No, no. Okay, I'm outvoted. Have it. Nose have it. Okay. The nays have it. Yeah. I didn't see what Bob and Leonard voted because my my screen. I said yes, but I'm I. You know, I'm here. To, I'm here. To, if I know something, I'll let you know. Other than that, I'm I just. Recall, I seem to recall something about that when the whole apartheid thing was coming down as a layer of. Some atrocity happened, some racist atrocity happened during the Olympics a million years ago. But again, I don't know for sure. It's just a guess in South Africa. But anyway. Well, they, they never had any racism in South Africa. Don't I go with the team. The Nine, answer is no. Eight, Good seven, job, team. Six. <laughs> I just I pop into this and suddenly I'm like going crazy. Like what the I don't think I'm doing that. <laughs> Well, I have no idea where I just stepped into, but I'm going to smell the bottom of my shoe. All right. You've so, been hacked, Ben. <laughs> Clearly. Good job, good job Peggy. Great discussions. <laughs> I think we had some good discussions on there. Here we go. Answers. Oh, we get a pretty power. Oh, wow. Woo! I can't Beautiful. make it work. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hey, Slide hey. show from beginning. I like Ben's last week so much. Why, thank you. I wasn't sure if like doing a PowerPoint was just like over the top and too much. And we see them all at work and blah, blah, blah. But I love PowerPoints because they give you something to watch besides the speaker. Well, yours so, is much more beautiful than mine. Mine like had. No oh, yeah, I'm sure. So. so number one is softball. It was there. It left. It came back. All the others are, are debuting. I know I heard a lot of discussions about how people knew for a fact that one of them has been here. <laughs> Um, Julie, okay, but number one is softball, number two, um, not this year, no. but apparently it's a thing in other competitions, so you will see this, men and women doing artistic swimming. Are they going to be dressed not, the same? Not <laughs> at the Olympics, and they obviously are dressed the same. I know. Although that'll be interesting. That'll have to be. A Wait, I'm, I, I'm confused. It says no men allowed. You won't see this, but that's the answer. You won't see this. It's that's not the happening. So the, the answer is false. false. Oh. The answer is false, except the picture was too good to resist. <laughs> okay. It's so happy. Try to keep up, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> so weaponry, we have, there's three kinds. Oh. The foil, ipe, and saber. I know oh. some teams got this. I was very impressed that they rattled them off. I'm pretty sure we that did. thank you, Alan, because the foil is shorter than an ipe, I think. Uh. But whatever. We didn't get it. We were foiled again. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't encourage him. Yeah, Avi, <laughs> I was trying to remember if the foil and the ipe were the same sword or not. No, they're not. They're um, they're not the same sword. We have it. Yeah, they're they're mm -hmm. obviously different. Why can't you know that? 
Oh, for no. gosh, everybody knows their foils from the really? not They look thing. very similar. The The big difference is the target area on the body. Yeah. Well, that's why I was thinking that the... Uh, the, if they might be the same yeah. the, 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 also the um the make of the of what this of the the sword like the the pay is a bit thicker and it has a, a like a bigger groove down the middle right Dipper. so speed boating is obviously not an olympic sport this however is a three million dollar italian sports car brand speedboat i thought that was interesting i think we should they should do speed boating but the motor turned off and they have to like paddle it or something yeah or that thing <laughs> yeah, or carry it with a cork in your mouth people. and a string attached to a car <laughs> while you're on a bicycle so tokyo hosted one Berkeley. other time there was only one other previous time tokyo was a host Good they job, were actually guys chosen in 1940 but they moved it because there was this war between japan and china and then helsinki was chosen but then helsinki got canceled because you know war just kept happening so let's not even have the summer olympics in 1940. this is like a picture of the of the south korean oh, archery team i almost said that they have really really done well for many olympics and it'll be interesting to see if they can still do it. Did you choose Switzerland because of William Tell? I did, <laughs> exactly. And I heard some teams talking about it. Well, <laughs> Bob like came up with you got us. <laughs> William Are Tell. those power balance bracelets? What do they got there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. uh, be. Richard, go investigate. I better do that. That must you be. That's them. why they're winning because they have. Power that's why balance. they're winning. I think yep. it is. And they have like kinetic tape or whatever it is. Can we please move on to the next one? There's eye candy. <laughs> 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 that's insane. Yeah. Look at that. I've, everybody probably got this one, but just the picture is. Look at those things. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you what talking about? Are you and he has a lot of metals. <laughs> um, I don't know why some are so much bigger than others. Some of them are kind of communion <laughs> That's what she said. That's the old question, time. isn't it? Well, the whole lot of that's what she said built into there. Okay, just yep. notice there's some silver over here and some bronze. But they do get here. smaller and they're wet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's Michael. That's so a, pigeons, they, I think some eating. people got pigeons. Oh, oh, I said pigeons. You guys that were shooting I thought pigeons. they were doves. Oh. Would you, doves and would pigeons you, are interchangeable. Would yeah. you accept birds? Because you said yeah. what? Uh, what, what, what? We said pheasants. Pigeons. Uh, but, we said, pe we said pigeons. pigeons. But, but we said we said birds. Is birds acceptable? Isn't it? No. Yeah. No. no I'll, I'll take a t I'll take a whole group vote, but my no. inclination would be no. But I would no. take yes if no. Everybody. Well, says you no. said what okay. type of animal? Well, dogs are a type of animal. Okay, cats are a type of animal. Birds are a type of animal. on the on the on the screen are also known as rock doves. doves aren't they pigeons? Are aren't they right. pigeons? That looks like a New York pigeon. It looks, it looks yeah. like a city. Yeah, the scientific like, name for they that look like is pheasants. a rock dove. Like originally, they lived in the wild, you know, and like and they're birds. Like so, um, okay. Like if you put dove, dove, you had to put rock dove. <laughs> good choice peggy good choice pigeons. all right so you the group consensus is birds is not an acceptable answer. oh there's an e on her name you're right I that is the consensus yeah i, I knew it was princess anne but i didn't know she had an e on the end you Spelling will not lose count. because you didn't get the e okay. but 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 they broke down the e she corrected my spelling i just said a n n do you know what she always did just about and every time she rode what do you mean? Like she fell off. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't ride when she rode. Yes. <laughs> nice. Pretty well, I, I don't like, think I like got the font she account. used for Princess Anne. That's lovely. That is very yeah. lovely. Yeah. Art Deco. No. I'm going to make her do all my PowerPoints. Yeah, really no nice African PowerPoint. city has ever hosted the Olympics. Thank However, you. thank you, Chief. The Olympics. For my wrong answer. She thought there was South Africa at one point, but I don't remember. Yeah, it no. that, that was World Cup. How about yeah. we, we thought it might be Libya? It, it, and well, I think probably it's South Africa is the most likely next if anybody gets it, but there is going to be the Summer Youth Olympics in Dakar. And then, you know, it's a it's been a very Euro white centric kind of thing, other than 
Tokyo. I think okay. we should. I and think we should change. China, China's had it. And China and yeah. Korea. And so Korea. Yeah. I think we should change any, the Wikipedia any place with page. sufficient corruption can get. I think it you could just say the Northern Hemisphere. I think if we change the Wikipedia page, then somebody else would get it. It's only because Wikipedia is holding them back. And oh. South America, oh. Brazil's had it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, countries that host the Olympics often financially. Isn't Johannesburg in the running for wealthy. the 2032 Olympics? Yes. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Everything's a mess right now. Good job, Peggy. Yeah, good. good Let's get good, our good scores. Round. Good one. Good, good category. Okay, so let's go with uh, we're on fire. Seven. Okay, not quite blazing hot there, but that's okay. <laughs> if Breyer doesn't retire, our fat's going to be in the fire. Eight. Okay, 17 years for a four-minute view. Ten. Oh, oh, oh what? Oh. Well, that that just changed. Did we? Of I thought we. Trivia. I thought we said doves. I was arguing for pigeons, but I thought we went with doves. We did go with doves, and she decided that with the rock doves, only rock doves would would. would ah. Dove is a type of pigeon. Dove is more specific. Yeah, they're, they're yes, really... but birds are type oh, anyway. But I, but I mean, I <laughs> think we got that. Birds are less specific. The score has been determined, and the, I'm asking you now: a square, a square, a square, squaredly squared. Your scores. That's what I was on. Eight. Eight. Good job. We did good. A weaponized ham slammers. Does does pigeons count? Pigeons is pigeons, the answer. Yeah. Pigeons is the answer. The question oh, is, does yeah. doves count? Pigeons. No, sorry, sorry. Doves cry. No, sorry, pheasants. Pheasants. Don't count. No, not pheasants. Don't count. Pheasants, no, not no, at all. No, pheasants wouldn't count. Seven. Seven. As long as it wasn't. As I said, do doves cry? You know. Okay. Nobody got it. I got it. Good one. We, we got it. We just. Uh, why do we yeah. scream at each other? <laughs> why do we scream at each other? There you go. Look at that. We can't get much closer. Look at that. 16, oh. 17, 18, 15. So it's anybody's. Uh, anybody's uh, guess. Technically, we're supposed to have nine, but nine I'll let it go. So Julie's going to break the, uh, hopefully break it up here a little bit because we are really gathered close together. So let's see. Um, I'm just curious, Julie, is it going to be sports related? <laughs> She says, yes, we're going to talk about the Tour de France. We're going to talk about bicycling at the Olympics. <laughs> Are we not breaking? Oh, yeah, we got to take a break. Oh. So before we go, Julie, don't say anything. Let's go take a five-minute break. Peggy's got to take Dallas out to go pee on um, Pebble Beach. <laughs> as one does. And pause. Good thing. Well, that's okay. All right, let's do it all over again. Okay, <laughs> this is the part of the show where. <laughs> so, Ben, tell us about your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on, even though that is very interesting. And I am dying to finish what happens with spontaneous human combustion. Right. If anybody hasn't heard the last two skeptoids from Brian Dunning, they're very good about I, uh, Rob the people behind that. I, have not, I haven't done it. Oh, I Susan, it, it is it is the it's greatest good. synopsis yeah. of the nonsense is that this is. I am looking forward to a time where I will actually be able to focus on it because I'm, I don't know. I listened to this really great book called the mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy Operation Wears, uh, Hill Mary. Operation Hill Mary, and then I listened to another book called Matriarch about uh, uh, Queen Mary, Queen May. They called her May, Mary of uh, May of Tuck. I think it's her last. The uh, Tuck, T U C K, was the place in England she's from. Anyway, so, uh, Mary, uh, Queen Mary of Tech. Tech, that's what it. Which was. is a place in Germany that she was yeah. not from. Yeah, she's not from. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, it was a very interesting book, and I learned a lot. Except that I called her name wrong. Next, Julie, where are you? There she is. I see her. And Hi. let's give her her, her superpowers. Julie's first time here, you guys, I'm doing um, a trivia category. So be on your best behavior. Shh. Sorry, we're doing slight technical stuff. <laughs> Thanks. Something's echoing, echoing. 
Okay, that should be better, yeah? But now we can't do that. Yep. I'm a little worried because they typed in O-R-I-G-A-M-I-E-I-F-J-C. I think their cat walked on the computer in chatter earlier today. I've heard of a skeptical echo chamber, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I spilled some water. It's oh, fine yeah. now. It's fine now. <laughs> okay. Ready? <laughs> I'd like to switch to Richard Saunders. Oh, too. man. Oh. I will. <laughs> yeah, don't think that I automatically know all the answers. Please. Oh, man. Well, at least it's oh. not Richard. It's not on, sport. Like, you only published origami books. You definitely Wow. Well. All right. Origami is the category. Awesome. <laughs> Question one. Um, history of origami. The grandmaster of origami. This man brought origami from a simple craft to a dynamic art form. His published work established the basis for the diagram symbols and notations we use today that allow people to learn to fold from books. He invented many new folding techniques, including wet folding, and designed thousands of models. He is credited with serving as a global ambassador and bringing awareness of origami from Japan to the world. What is his name? Is that Richard a big assist there in the corner? I see him. Hmm? Oh, this is his self-portrait. Oh, wow. In origami. I think they were commenting on the oh, Pegasus. Oh, that is a Pegasus. Um, it's a happy Christmas Pegasus. Oh, look at him. 2021. <laughs> I've got one too, but mine's not 2021. Question two. In Japanese culture, folding 1,000 origami cranes, sen basuru, is said to bring good fortune. This spring, 15-year-old Evelyn Chia, pictured here, broke the world record time for folding the 1,000 cranes. How long did it take within one hour? Origami uses two basic folds, a mountain fold, which is folded away from you and creates a mountain shape, and a valley fold, which is folded towards you or, and creates a valley shape. Yes, that's correct. If the below crease pattern is folded according to these rules, what kind of animal will it resemble? This can be guessed, and if you're feeling creative, this can also be done hands-on. Question four, fold types. In addition to the basic mountain and valley folds, there are seven common fold types recognized by Origami USA. Which of the following is not one of them? Forward fold, reverse fold, crimp, rabbit ear, squash, pedal fold, and sink. Question five, bases. Origami is frequently folded from universal starting points called bases. Bases create structure and flaps which can be developed into a model's features. The six traditional bases are illustrated below. Name any three of them. And you don't have to know which ones they are, just give me three names. Question six, crease patterns. And by the way, we I am gonna send out these assets. You will get this. <laughs> okay. Uh, question six, match these finished models with their crease patterns. Your answer Oh, will... jeez. <laughs> this might take Holy some crap. studying, but it, it's you can figure it out intuitively. Your answer will be a sequence of four letters. Question seven, modular origami. Modular origami uses multiple units to create larger designs, frequently geometric shapes. How many identical units were used to create this polyhedron? This man is arguably the world's leading expert on mathematical origami design. He helped take origami to the next level, developing computer software to create complex designs and writing the most recognized book on origami design principles. He worked at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory for over a decade studying lasers and optics before leaving to become a full-time origami designer. He specializes in practical applications of origami principles and has designed everything from space shuttle lenses, pictured here, uh, deployment mechanisms to medical equipment, including cardiac stents, robotic surgery tools, and micro injectors, as well as airbags, antennas, and bulletproof shields. He has designed hundreds of origami models 
and his work has been exhibited at the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Louvre in Paris. What is his name? As you can probably tell from the slide, I think this guy's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, question nine. I bet he has a Wikipedia page. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But looking at it would be cheating. Yeah, that's true. But we wouldn't know what to look for. That's right. Yet. Mm. <laughs> question nine, origami exhibitions. In 2014, designer Fifo Mabono created a life-size white paper elephant origami model from one uncut square of paper. What? The process took several weeks, and the model was displayed at the Art Museum in Baramunster, Switzerland. <clears throat> How big was the paper within two meters? What? <laughs> Wait, uh, Julie, uh, when you say meters, do you want an area or a length? This is the width and length of the square. It's a square, so it's one dimension of a square. Oh, it's a square, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Mono. Great metrology question. <laughs> <laughs> and we know what that means, too. And the last question, what is your favorite thing about origami? There are multiple <laughs> correct answers to this question, and you can provide more than one answer if you wish. So we're definitely getting one answer. <laughs> that answer I'll get right. Okay. And we're so, setting uh, up. We're well, we gotta agree on one answer. Oh, a, I have yeah. a question on you number six. provide more than one answer. It's I have a question on number options. six. It's the oh. participation trophy. I have a question on number six. Yes. Yeah. Does that need four answers? This is a yeah. sequence of four letters. So it's this crease pattern that matches one, two, three, and four in that order. So you, you could put one is A, B, C, or D, two is etc. But you don't need yeah. all of them, just one of them. No, you need all four. No, you need all of them. Well, we all shouldn't four. do that. We're supposed to do one answer for a question. That's four. Wanted, oh, this is very it. simple. You just put one, and then you put what you think it is. And if you get all four right, then you get the point. Is that correct? The answer that you're going to return is a sequence of four letters. Yeah. They're in the orders of the model in the picture. And if the so, sequence is correct, you get the point. If the correct. sequence a is incorrect, sequence you don't get the point. Then I don't understand because there's four models there. No, Rob, it's okay. one answer. Rob, if, if None of them are isomorphic. The answer would be like, if, if, if it was exactly how it is there, the answer would be A, B, C, D. Yes. Right. Or the answer is going to be B, A, C, D. Right. And if the true answer is A, B, C, D, and you wrote A, B, C, D, then you get the point. Right. Correct. I got it. Okay, any other questions before we go? Um, you get a Dropbox link in the chat there. So make sure you get that. It has all the slides and also the assets in, in higher resolution. All right, very good, very, very good. I'm right. liking these pictures too. All right, unshare and let's go. All right, I don't know how. Stop sharing. I know, but it makes my cursor disappear. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying. oh, weird. Oh, it's because you're oh, it's, okay. There we go. Okay, we got it. Okay, computers. <laughs> so I've got to put. So Julie would go. Wait, Mike. I've got to put Mike on a score. Oh, the team that's not doing so well is getting Mike. <laughs> They're all doing really good, Mike. And there's only one that is lower than everybody else, and that's I, we're on fire. So no pressure or anything, but you gotta, hey, you gotta. Susan, I'm sorry, I ended up in the too. wrong group again. I need to go back to two. Okay. So, Mike, um, oh, I gotta go over here. We can deactivate this one. Um, Mike, Susan, you're going no. to go. We're on fire. Mm -hmm. Julie, you're gonna go to um, 17 years. Not that you have to go there, but that's where you would go. Peggy is two needs to go into a square of squares. Yep. Thank you. And Julie, you, you know how to move around from room to room. Yes. No. All right. No, but okay. I, I can do that. Yeah. And I'm going to go to your room and hopefully do okay. Good Goodbye. job. Thanks. Okay. Hi team. <clears throat> well, Are we in the right room? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm your. Oh, 
extra, I'm right. extra. I because I am the host. I play on the team where the person has left. So oh. not that I'm going to be much help. Um, really? <laughs> origami. Okay, who's leading this? Ah. Is that you, Wilma? No, 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 oh. not me. Uh, I, I'm having actually difficulties with the Dropbox, so I'm. Oh, I can't I even see it right now. Let me open mine up. Oh, oh no! Is that, can person... everybody else see it? Let me see. I can't no. see anything in the Dropbox. Oh, finally. Stay yeah, came up. Open. I'm not having problems. Okay, Isabella, are you leading? Um, Robin, I have no idea what number one is. I have an idea what number two is. I know in total it took her like nine hours and thirty one mi minutes to complete all the cranes. Mm. Um, what's a good name for that guy? Joe, Mike, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Beyond that, I am hopeless. Oh no. So, well, um, the, um, what is it? The shape, like the folding ones. Yeah, we should go for that. Um, does somebody have the questions? Cause my iPad doesn't like the, to, my iPad doesn't like show the questions. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have the questions. Does somebody want me to put the questions back in the chat? Yeah, that would be nice. Thanks. I'm all in one cut and paste. Okay, so yeah, let's go over these questions here. Oh, good, they're there. Fantastic. Oh. Okay, okay. thank you. Oops. How do we see what was the question? I, I can't yeah, see. There we go. Um, in the chat. Okay, My so best guess, which is wrong, is that the guy's name is Origami. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's a great answer. It's a great answer. Yeah, Origami. I'm yeah. sure it's wrong, yeah. but they... no, no, I'm sure that's right. As in like two separate words, Ori being the first name and Gami being the last? Yeah. Or Origami being the last I name. I think that'd be the last name. Just the way Jamie said it there, I was like, hey, that almost sounds like it could be a Japanese name. Like it does. Origami. Origami. Oh, see, that sounds right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay. I so that will be the only correct contribution I've, I will give on this one. Well, the last one we, we is a gimme. Right. Yeah. But we'll get the last one. <laughs> okay, so which one are we on now? Number two. Number three. So number two, we know, right? Because. Oh yeah, the nine minute. What is it, nine hours and thirty-one minutes? Yeah. Excellent. How do you know that? Uh, Why do I know that? Uh, because yeah, I know a lot of weird stuff, Susan. I I would think you would have caught on by that by now. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? Come on. Isabella's very strange, you guys. I am. She kicks everybody's ass each week, and it pisses her pisses. I <laughs> piss anybody. And then off. when I don't know, everyone's annoyed at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, question three. I'm just tape. I'm um, taping questions right now. Question number three. Um, is that is that the crane pattern? Could that be no. the crane? No. Wait. If me... crease, the crease pattern is folded according to these rules. Let me try to. I, I'm really bad at visualizing these things. Um, it's you and Teresa. Hmm? No, because to do a crane, there there's different folding. Oh, I'm really bad at visualizing things like if it's like written down, I would have needed to see it. Um, picture of it. Which isn't helpful. I have no idea. What question are we on? Three. Three. Uh, three. There's no, is, is, how do we get, how do we get a picture of the diagram? 
How do we get a picture of it? Yeah, I, I don't see any of the pictures in my no. chat. So I don't you know. have to you have to open the Dropbox that she attached the link. Yeah. Where's the Dropbox? There's a yeah. link. Uh, yeah, further up. I, maybe I can. Oh, yeah. The yeah it's, it's up there. I don't see it. I'm so there. sorry. So it's full category presentation. Oh, I don't see that. Yeah, Is my it, iPad deletes the, the questions once I go into a breakout room. Oh, for, full category. Yeah, questions. mine too. Hmm. Okay, Did I can get... screen share if you guys really want me to. I can, okay. I can. I can paste it again. Hold on. Yeah, I was just trying to do that too. There you go. Okay, so number three. Oh, Who's there it is. Let's see. Um, it's number three. Everybody number disappeared. Three. Creates a I feel like it's a bunny. Oh, uh, we don't have Dropbox. I feel like it's a bunny. So is if it we a were dove, to maybe a pigeon, maybe a rock dove. <laughs> <laughs> well, see how the little thing at the very at the very That's top why of the right hand corner, like a bunny or something. That would be a little tiny beak, like a little. Oh that's yeah, maybe maybe, maybe that's the crane. Maybe, that no, because it's got to be something simple. It could be. I don't know. I this is not a good I think category. It's a guess you guys are trusting me on. <laughs> I think a crane would be a good good. Uh, I think it's the crane. I'm good with that. See, I don't. I don't have. A, I can't see the picture. But on the corner, if I remember, there's a little triangle on the corner on the upper yes. right hand. Corner. Yes, and I think that's, so that's the beak that the finally turns over. Yeah, it's a beak yeah, of something. I think that's that's it. The if only Julie were here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, number four, seven common fold types. Here we go. Where is question four? Oops. Well, it's obviously it's not forward or reverse because there are, I mean, it's, if, if we're taking one out, we're taking both out. I'm guessing sync, but I haven't, the, I haven't got a clue. Sync. Um... God, this is 50 years ago. Sync, I think sync does exist. When you fold, when I was a kid. I, I th it. I'm pretty sure pedal is right. So I'm going to say, I think my guess is squash. Really? I was going to say rabbit ear. Because squash is something I think that would be in uh, Japanese that wet, language. The wet stuff they were talking about? Squash, squash is a, a, a flower. I mean, squash blossom. Yeah, let's see. I it's thought rabbit ear. Bugs, so there's that. Don't listen um, to me. I haven't got a clue. I think rabbit ear, which is not a fold. That's fine. What if it's a miniature TV though, right? If it right, if it's origami, <laughs> you got the rabbit ears. I could see. <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Look at me laugh. I'm trying to be helpful here. <laughs> okay, number five. Bases is frequently folded from universal starting points called bases. Bases create structure and flaps. Name any three of them. Oh, Lord. I can't even name one, much less three, so. Well, probably that's a pyramid. Um, Richard Saunders taught me some of these. Let me think of what they would be called. Wish I could open. Uh, who would ever, Richard Saunders' team's going to win this, huh? Probably. <laughs> um, Pyramid. What question are we on? Five. Five. Um, Pineapple cookies. Pie. I think that's like a star. Star, pie, and pyramid. Can get the pie? No, because I know there's one shape where you make these little mini stars, and I've made them before. How about diamond? But it would have to be three D. You okay, dear? And I know, like my grandmother has made 
little what like mini stars symptoms? and then you string a piece of string through them and they're on like a little like Okay, so number six Thanks. is the one where we're supposed to come up with the letters of the alphabet. Um, I can't get any images. I, I can't open up. You can't see it? No, I can't open up Dropbox. Um, Here. <clears throat> see, my Dropbox isn't working. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. Is it on chat? Oh, let's see. Can you see me? Pin me on the... D. Pin, pin me on the Okay, I got you. Oh, fantastic. I got it. Great. Thank you. Okay, so number, this is question six. So match these finished models with their crease patterns. Your answer will be sequence. Okay. I think D is goes with two. Okay. Um, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's that makes sense. Because I can see how it elongates to the to down towards um, the right, given that the foot of the um, frog goes down. How about uh, B with four? Because there's that blank spot. Yes, I agree. At the that. bottom would hit the wings of that. Whatever that. I, th I think I I was looking at uh, C as four because the the. If you look at the, the, the top left and right hand corners, it sort of looks like it has the wings on there. I'm not sure. Well, the wings I, I like that. I like 4C. Yeah. And, 4C. and the reason I agree with Isabella on number two, D, is because it's asymmetrical. Yeah. The other ones are symmetrical. Yeah, definitely. But I um, thought four would be um, B because if you look at the surface be, area. Yeah. Look at those wings. Look at that. The blank wing spot. is very large surface area. Okay. So the wing is such a large area. And B on the bottom has It'd large be sections. less folding. Uh, yeah. Less folding. Right. Yeah, I think the, I can see B being four, just like you said, with the surface area on the bottom. Large area. Yeah, and there's two of them. It's symmetric. Yeah. So it's the only one that has large yeah. area, too large. So four B. Um, yeah, yeah, I think right. so. So, A, wow, look at that. I think A, one is A. I thought I'm yeah. thinking too. That's it looks like that would be the little legs on the, the side. Yeah, and the fish, like number three, there's lots of little triangles in there. I think that's yes. C. Yes. So, what would that's, the order be? Right. A, D, yeah. C, B? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next question. Yeah. Oops. Now this was question seven, right? Modular origami uses multiple units to create larger designs frequently. How many identical units were used to create this? Oh my goodness. Um, no idea. Two? One for No, one. it would be... Um, the number of points it has. Right. I think so. We It'd have be to guess 10. that. One, two, polyhedron. Three, four, Is that five. ten? It would be ten because they slide. Isn't that I would say twelve. Why? Twelve. Because I think you have oh, one yeah, facing you and one facing away. And you have five stars and then you have another layer of five stars. Okay, yeah, 12. I can see that. Okay. Uh, question. Oh, here. Who's, here who's keeping track of the score of the of the answers? Not I. <laughs> Not me. So I'm, I'm a guest here on your team. I don't know these things. No. We had Jeffrey doing it, so we're okay. in trouble. The, the man okay. is our. I'll, this man is arguably the world's expert on mathematical principles of origami. So his name is Joe. Does he look Wait, like he a Joe? Old. We work for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Let's see. Um, I've heard of him before, but it, hell if I know his name. Oh, no, this is, oh, yeah, this is his name. I think he it's looks like a Sean. He's probably personal friends with Leonard. But how, how old was, was Hubble? You don't when, think when that's Leonard Hubble. Signed off of origami. I'm sure he's dead, whoever it is. I, is Hubble dead? I'm sure he is. They wouldn't name somebody after somebody who could possibly do a 
it's a big to be like yeah i don't yeah i wouldn't think they would do something like that um guy sounds really awesome hmm. no idea it's either you know it or you don't know it. it's not like you can figure it out okay here's number nine <laughs> now this is amazing yeah that is uh how big was the paper oh my god that must be it. enormous <laughs> how would you even do that well that i don't know person is let's guess how tall he is and then six foot how tall are swedish people yeah, I think six is probably a fair guess. A guess. It's easy to figure out. Okay, go for it. <laughs> sure, I'm not it's math related, so I'm just passing this one on. How do you buy paper that large? Yeah, exactly. No, it has to be made. The manufacturer, it must be custom made paper. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you look at the crane, for example, the crane is a this big and it comes from a piece of paper that's this big so mm -hmm. um maybe this is easier than we think so you're saying it's probably mm -hmm. double the size of that elephant oh no, no, well i think it's probably bigger than it? that how could you even work with it if it was like a size of uh, a football field you know that's not even well just uh, well let's see we could count let's imagine it's just a cube and he's that guy's probably around six foot tall, say. Mm -hmm. So the whole the height of the whole thing is probably eight feet, right? So it's like eight by eight feet. So you have 64 that's, feet. That's more than that's more than eight feet. Sorry. It's at least yeah. 10, I think. It, 10 12. Feet? I'd go with 12. You yeah? Yeah, look at the top of his ear. It's yeah. very, very it's it's, like, it's even higher than that. Black. It goes up from the like the body is up from behind the ear yet. Meters. So let's see. Well, maybe it's twelve feet. But say even easier. If it's if it's if it's ten, if it's ten feet, then it's a hundred square feet per area. Okay, top and top and back, right? That's so it's two hundred square feet, and it's probably half of that, or a third of that on the side. So that's 200, 230, 260 square. So it's two hundred sixty square feet. So what's two hundred sixty square feet in meters? Did they want the, the actual area or do they want the length of one side? Yeah, what's the question? Oh, let's see. Square. How I big? She said the length of one side. Okay, so 60 two, square uh, feet is like uh, 15 by 15 or something. So 15. 260 square feet is how many square meters? Um, and they, take, they take the square root of that. I think it's you divide by nine or something, yeah. 260 square feet. What? I'm concentrating on what is my favorite thing about origami. <laughs> I'm going to get number 10 right. Do you, uh, Wilma, in, in, uh, well, so in 24, Canada, so it's 24, 24, I'm sorry, 24 square meters. What's the square root of 24? The square root of 24. How do they measure apartments in Canada, Wilma? Do they measure square, square meters or square feet? <laughs> uh, that's a really good question. Five by five. So that's it. So, so according to the calculation, feet, I'm sorry, actually. it should be five by five, five by five I meters. Five by five meters? Yeah. Oh, didn't someone say around about six, five, yeah. about five, between five and six meter? So that five by five would be 25 square meters. Exactly. So it's about so it's about five. So our guess is five meters square. Okay. What What do you think? Five meters by five meter piece of paper. I could go with that. It's I'm fine with that. I have no yeah. clue. Twenty five square meters. Okay. What do you want to say for number ten? Oh, let's see. Let's do number ten again. What is your favorite thing about origami? Um, what should we say? I like it. So like can, can I actually ask? Like, that's a really easy one. That's a gimme. So let's let's spend time time making sure that we've got all the rest of them actually written down because yeah. we were. Oh, yeah. Did we down. write them down? Anybody? Okay. No. I'm, I'm so writing I'm them down now to, as we go over them. Okay. Uh, okay. So sure. uh, right. the, the 
A D C B was our number six. Yes. And number seven is 12. Okay. And number five, I don't remember what our answer was. Oh, we're going backwards. The question was um, traditional basis. We said name oh, right. three traditional basis. So we said pyramid, star. What did we say? Pyramid, star, and diamond. I think so. That's what well, I, I just said. I don't know if it's true. That's a, that's a good guess. I like it. Pyramid, I think star, that's diamond. what we said. Okay. Okay, we'll just go backwards. What's number four? Number four, we said rabbit ear. Rabbit ear is what we said. Yeah. Okay. We can revisit Thanks. it if you want. No, let's just at least get something down. Rabbit ear was the thing that is not a standard fold. Yeah. And, and then uh, we said number three was the crane. Right. Mm -hmm. I was trying to recreate that. It wasn't working. And I think, and uh, Isabella was the one who had number two, nine hours and 30 minutes or something. Yeah. So nine hours, are we saying nine hours or are we saying 10 hours? We're saying 9.5 nine nine hours. 5 hours. 30, it was nine hours and 31 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And number one, we're saying his name is Origami. Origami. <laughs> origami. <laughs> I know if that's true. Okay. We'll, we'll make Jamie say his name if we have to, because he's got that accent, right? Ori, origami. Okay, what okay. did we have for number eight? You sound racist if we say it. Yeah. <laughs> we do not have anything for number eight. We have nothing. We are completely at a loss. Some okay, scientific... and number nine, what was the... Uh, 25 square meters. 25, okay. Five by five. Five by five um, meters. Eight was, um, who's that guy? Um, no idea. See. Oh, um, let's see. But he, he's alive. Let's see. Who, who works for um, JPL? Let's see. Who's famous that works for JPL? Probably a friend of Leonard's. That's what I said. Mm. Leonard will get this one right. Yeah, well, I'm sure he will. Oh, no, Actually, Rob might too. No. Hey, Susan. I think we're probably about. I hear. Maybe... I hear. Um... You know what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, I have my video off <laughs> to try to, to try to get some. <laughs> oh, I'm nice. Deborah. We hear. Okay. We hear anyway, a lot of something. Uh, sorry. Um. So, uh, I think we're about two minutes out. Okay. Close my rooms. Okay. Did, was there an answer for number number eight? It's about no. Yeah. Hey, no, no we, we do not have an answer for number eight. Um, where's Jeffrey Feynman? No. Right? Richard Feynman? No. I'm trying to think of it. No, famous mathematicians and physicists that work for JPL. Um. Lots of people work for JPL. I have no idea. <laughs> Lots of famous people work for JPL. Yeah, let's see. I, I have no clue. I don't know either. I think we should just come up with a name. We have to just let that go. Is there a laser yeah. or, or something that's got a, a name? Dave. Call him Dave. He doesn't look like a Dave. Look right, at that God. guy. Does he look like a Dave to you? He looks more like a Paul. He looks like a Moisha. Sheldon. 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 No. Uh, not a Sheldon. We're going to come up with a last name. Oh. It? Paul Smith. Paul Smith? I, good. That's okay. good. Writing it down, somebody? Paul Smith, I'm writing it down. It will be wrong, but I'm writing okay. It what's down. the best thing? I like think? the colors. I like that it's social. I like it's versatile. I like that you recycle. You you so recycling stuff. Good. Paper is always good to recycle. Cheap. You use money. Anyone can. Anything. Yeah, low cost, cheap. All these answers are correct. Yes. This is right. like on what's that show? Uh, the one with um carpool karaoke and who's the guy who's the the sidekick and he asked the, the question at the end and and they people 
offer up outrageous answers and then he says yes you're correct <laughs> it's um james corden show the late late show does nobody want the late late show, show. <laughs> does no Good one watch everybody Oh, origami lighthouses. And I'm sure you can fold origami to lighthouses. So origami lighthouses used in Punch and Judy episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that was probably the best, best topic we've ever had. Best topic, Richard. Oh, shut up, Richard. Just because you uh, probably no. aced it. It was fun and colorful. Yeah, yeah it was if Richard doesn't get ten. I'm going to be disappointed. Thirty Be, well, be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> you will be. We got bent out of shape. Thirty. Thirty. Bent out of shape. Oh, oh. Oh. How to know when to hold them, when to fold them. There's no, oh. Oh. There's no spindling, but folding and mutilating oh, definitely oh. happens. Let Julie give the answers. Hi, um, I'm glad that you all found it fun and colorful. Yeah. Well, one of those two. <laughs> yeah, I found it both. It was interesting. It was totally good. Susan, Susan can do origami. I taught her. I yeah, did. I did, but I don't yeah. think I knew all the names, though. Yeah. Julie, you have to unmute. We'll okay. get the same answer. We'll get the same scores anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So all right. Here we go. All right, um, you can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, I feel that I may have calibrated this a little too difficultly. <laughs> and I would like I to- just, I just thank now. you for not saying that everyone should know all of these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I think if everyone knew all of them, it wouldn't really be a trivia thing. Right. Anyway, yeah. um, True. I That's want right. you to know that this is not origami's fault. And origami <laughs> is definitely fun even if you didn't enjoy the category. <laughs> Focus on question 10. All right. Answer is. So Akira Yoshizawa. Oh. 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 I told oh. you it was him. It wasn't Mr. Miyagi-san. Damn. <laughs> we thought it was, we we it was John or Origami. We thought it was Origami. We named him Origami. Oh, oh, oh. Uncle. yeah, common misconception. His name is not Origami. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there a name? Is there a translation for the word origami? Yes. Uh, ori means fold and gami is with a K, kami, which means paper. It's also the most common type of origami paper. Uh -huh. Yeah. So literally folded paper. Uh, nine hours and 31 minutes. Wow. We got yes. to the second, yes. Isabella. Wow. Thank you, my team. Amazing! We got a point. I'm, imp I'm I'm mildly impressed because I am impressed. What what did you say? About it exactly. Well, I w I did one as a test, and I made a, a a crappy one because I really hurried, and it took me just a minute. Yeah. So we use that as a basis. But she's if if you really practice your speed origami, then well, I'm still impressed. Cool. That's really good. Hey, nice. listen, Isabella got it seconds. exactly nine hours thirty one minutes. Wow. Oh what? my god! Holy what? shit! That, Did I you pull that out of everything. your uh, never regions? I'm more impressed she was able to throw them so evenly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to have her on data skeptic there. Yeah. Talk to her about. He must have the, taken some interesting shortcuts in the folding. That's, that's, wow, that's something. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, It's a bird. Yes. A bird. I also want to say she did that like. She Would you was accept practicing praying? it over quarantine too? So you know we have a lot of time on our hands. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. So any type of bird is the correct answer. Because I asked Ooh, for a type point. of bird. Right. Ooh, I like the pigeon pheasant dove. fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing at that dove bird question really the hard because dove. I knew that was about to happen again. Um. Ooh. Several people folded it, and that's very exciting. Thank you for folding. Mm -hmm. So you'll accept cranes. I will accept cranes. Oh, look how pretty they are. I I folded, but in a different way. <laughs> How do you fold a little eyeball on it? Um. <laughs> with round paper. That's that's with the uh, the black marker fold. <laughs> well, if the paper already has the marker on the mark on it. Okay. Um, forward fold was the fake one. Oh. A reverse fold is something that changes the direction of an existing fold. So mm -hmm. forward fold isn't a thing. Uh -huh. 
And wow. that question is probably pretty hard if you don't fold, but. Yeah, I tried to explain them all to my team and I'm going, oh, I'll have to show you. <laughs> Did you get it right? Yes. Good. <laughs> all right, name any three bases. Um, it probably oh. should have been one base. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone get three bases? Oh, Richard Saunders stood for. Yes. I got one. I got one. Oh. Oh. We got two. We got two. Awesome. Pretty good frog, though. That did that, you no. did so, but the but you needed three bases to get the point, right? Yes, right. Yeah, three. Thank you. Ah, we hate <laughs> we, we, we have to settle. We have to settle. We have to settle for that one to knock Richard down a peg. Didn't we, we say have to settle base? for a single? We settle for a single. Because we got kite and square, right? We got two. Yeah, that's we really good. We were on the right idea we said pyramid i think and diamond yeah the water bomb that's the that cube thing i was talking about yeah uh, i should have yeah I water bomb is an inside the, out square base yeah okay. but I, I i could tell you you know what each base is good for but um for the bird bases of is named because that's the classic starting point for the flapping crane the, the yeah. flapping bird or the or the peace crane yeah well, yeah that's true Okay, so crease patterns. Hmm. CAGB. Uh, oh. oh. Say it again. Get that. Oh, there we go. CAGB. Yeah, one of them. Oh. <laughs> Four answers, and we only got oh, two. Oh, no right way. Here. Does anyone want me to talk about how you would figure this out? No. Well, we got. We got. <laughs> We got four B. So it was the, the so amount of knowledge necessary to yes, figure it out, yes, except yes. for A Julie, is that, astronomical. What was the sequ that would be sequence again, B. It's at the top in red. C A oh, I see. B. Yeah, C. Yeah, uh, even though we didn't get this right, I really enjoyed this question because we got to like try to guess at what folds made what pieces. Yeah, I like this okay. question. I was hoping it'd be fun. Do offer, do offer. Oh, that's the bed. frog. Oh, of course it is. Oh, now, now I see it. Now I can it's see the, the little Damn it. Oh, that makes me feel so much better, Richard. I know. Yeah, the feet, huh? As I said to my team, frog yeah, the feet's the only thing that the that works. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the interesting thing about this question was, and I explained to my team, is when you're following origami from a book and you're making models, you very rarely see the finished crease pattern. Mm. Very rarely. You'll start with a bit of paper with a line. Oh, fold that. Okay, fold the next, fold the next. Congratulations, you've made a duck. But you but you've never seen the published unfolded crease pattern. That's very rare. So excellent question. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. This is about mm -hmm. like the structures and how like if you count them, there's two big structures and four small structures. That kind wait, of strategy. Wait, yeah. wait, say that. Say that again, Julie. Please. Okay. Um so like B. A crease pattern B, you see a lot of uniform small points around the outside. That's the legs and mouth parts of the cicada. So lots hmm. of small uniform things. On um, the wings. Oh, damn it. I see it now. Well, that, we yeah. got, that's the one we got right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, C is the scorpion. That big thing in the middle that's being narrowed with a lot of folds is the yep. tail. And it's yep. got two big claws in front and yep. the legs on the side. Mm -hmm. And then D is the fish. That one is a very tricky one, so kind of elimination, but it doesn't have any articulated points. Mm. And oh, yeah. it's got like a big sink for the dorsal fin and then a few other things without a bunch of shiny things. So thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm. Um, okay, this one was really uh, hard. Wow. And um, I think that, that I didn't explain hard. it well wow. enough. 30. So yeah. the the top picture is a picture of the unit that is used to fold the model. I don't mm -hmm. think everyone got that. And I apologize for not explaining that well enough. Um, so if you got 60 and that is a really, really good guess and definitely correct for ends of the, the unit. Um, if you look really closely at the unit, you can see that it has the little indentation that forms the, the center of the Pentagon. It has it on both ends. So each unit actually spans from the center of one Pentagon to the center of the next one. So it's actually hmm. 30. From the center was, of one was plus to or the minus. center of the opposite or the or an adjacent one? To an, yes, to an adjacent point. It goes from one point where it has that little tiny white triangle down to the dip and then up to the next one that has another point. Does that make okay. sense? So we said yeah. 24. So this was plus or minus six, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No. Well, if it makes you feel better, we had 24 as well. That's a tricky question. I think we ended up with 25, but still. <laughs> we had 12. 
Yeah. We went 60. Yeah, well, when we said it was either 60 or 30. Yeah, some some modular yeah. pieces of origami can have hundreds. It's it's quite wow. amazing. Yeah. Robert Lang. Lang. Oh. Oldie oh. McFoldfish. I got the I got half his name. Oh, that's <laughs> embarrassing. That's embarrassing. As long as you got Lang, that's fine. No, I got the wrong half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's really one? embarrassing is both the men in this your quiz I've spoken about in lectures years yeah. ago. It's, it's oh. so embarrassing. We said we said Paul Smith. Very close. Dang, how very close. I anyway, go on. Very, very close. We, we said his name was Skip. Skip. Because yeah. like Skip. we skipped yeah. that one. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> so this was 15 meters. Oh. Ooh. Um, it's a one to five ratio. Things like the trunk on the elephant is really hard to get something that long. So it has a really um high ratio of paper to folding. Did anyone get that one? It doesn't I got, I got 10. It doesn't surprise me though. Nope. So what is yeah, the answer? Really yeah. The answer is 15 by 15. So the answer Just is 15. 13 and 17. But they cut it up, huh? They did not cut it up. There aren't any no. cuts. It's one square of paper. It looked like there were other pieces when they started. No. Yeah. no. What is that? Those. Uh, this. Those are tools. Yeah. To get credit for number 10, drop your answer in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, oh, we get a point. Richard yeah. said it enabled him to meet women. The what individual answers or <laughs> individual answers or all the answers you there, want to get one of these questions we thought because it was a mathematical. there we go very good i liked this category i, really oh, did. I didn't know i, I liked it too but i do want to say this did break yeah. the rules in two questions where there were multiple mm -hmm. answers so there was one where you had to name three shapes and there was one with the four sequence. You had to figure four things out. So just for future reference, people, we shouldn't do that. That's that's not the the four sequence is not breaking the rules because there's yeah. only it was, give the four one answer. Sequence. Well, I could have said that for like actors in Bewitched. Name the four actors who are the main roles. I mean, no, I, yes, you could. No. Have. She gave us the answers. She gave us the answers. We just had to put them in the right order. So the um, unless you got all four of those letters. That's right. Correct, you don't get a point. You don't there. get okay. Right. But I agree with that not doing well here. question. That I liked the one. I enjoyed well, so I enjoyed that immensely. And you're all going to very much okay. enjoy our score too. We, you just so you didn't get 10? I can't believe it. Wait, for question number five, can you put the answers in the chat so I can just copy them and put them on, on our little chat no, here? No, I don't have them written. It was something, it was somewhere else. It was like a I was in the middle of typing them and then it switched from full screen. Sorry. Kite base, fish base, water bomb base, preliminary base, we'll stick bird base, chat. frog base. Yes. All right. So let's do scores now. We were at some really okay. tight scores. There's like one, one that two, ended. two, three, three points. Yeah, that's over. Lowest score to the highest score. So we are. We, really could, we could all still be very tight scores, just only moving up one or two points. Yeah. <laughs> well, I all think right. Richard's team did better than that. Yeah, probably. You'd think, you would think. think that. That. Well, <laughs> Richard's team, the team Richard's on, is in last place. So this should be interesting. Not anymore. So I'm going to go down this weaponized ham yeah. slammers. I believe we got three. Team, is that right? Yes, three. thanks to me, we got three. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. Right. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let the record I can show. see it on my side saying, uh, luckily we, you know, I talked it out. Okay, a square of squares, squaredly squared should have done really well because they are the square of squares, squaredly squared. Three. Uh, 17 years for a four minute view. Also three. Okay. If buyer doesn't retire, our fat's going to be in the fire. Two. And one of those was number 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, one of the threes was number 10. For them. So we're on fire. Is that number 10 correct? You know, now you'd think I'd, you'd, you'd think I'd do better, but unfortunately we could just scrape a miserable four. Wow! Ooh. Top score. Ooh. Top I am. Score. Oh, wait till you see this score, you guys. 
Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my geez. I'm kicking myself now because once I saw the answers, I thought, oh, of course, but that's just life. The two scores. Well, it's real easy. It's symmetrical. <laughs> 19, 20, 20, Ooh, 20. Wow. 19. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like it's wow. evenly folded right here. You can pull uh, right on the seven. Here's uh, for a four minute view. Whoa. We're in first. Well, Julie, we <laughs> uh, everybody's in first almost. Very interesting. Nice way to level it up, huh? Yeah. Where's Oprah yeah. when you need her? You get first place. You get first place. You get first place. <laughs> well, I thought Julie was going to make it so that we were like finally broke out even further. That was really interesting. It was very symmetrical. Oh. Richard's going to be kicking himself all day. It's a whole well, game. To, to be honest, I'm kicking myself about the names. I, I should have known, but I haven't spoken about these guys for many years, and it's just I just couldn't bring them up. But I must admit, the elephant was a really interesting one. I had a good yeah. guess of 10 meters. Mm -hmm. um, I'm and, really looking forward to looking into some of this stuff because I yeah. had no idea origami so was When that Julie tested the elephant question on me, I guessed 10 meters as well. And then when she pointed out the trunk, I'm like, oh my God, of course. Mm -hmm. The trunk mm -hmm. is impossible to do at that size without- And, and it's also- yeah. As I said to my team, it depends on the model. You know, some models can, can end up the same size, but yeah. you can start with different sizes of paper. It depends on how complex and how the folds fit into each other. So it's a tricky, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Hi, Sarah. I see Sarah here. You just have to know. You know, as I Yeah. Well, Julie, we didn't uh, score very highly, but it was an interesting uh, topic. It was interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I want to, it's like the quilting one that we did before whenever Faith did. Afterwards, I was very interested in going and looking at the the links and stuff like that. That was I, I'm definitely going to check out that elephant thing where they're folded it. That was very good. Good job. Nice mixing it up. This is why we have other people doing categories and not just me doing them all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you guys say hi to Sarah? Hi Sarah. Hi Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. You should Sarah? stay and hang out. Right on my screen. She's up in the corner of my screen. I don't know where she's on hers, but she's on the one that Alan's on. Behind Thank Alan. Ah, uh, there we go. My second screen. Hello. Hey, Sarah. Okay, so let me take away the powers from. Oh, wait. Julie's already gone, so I don't have to take the powers away, right? Okay. Oh, where'd she go? She's in the same room as. Oh, uh, she logged out. Oh, her. Yeah, her, she's logged out now. So, yeah. okay. So number four. Here we go. No pressure. Let's see if Caspian can break this up because he's the next one up. That is my goal. And does it have anything to do with Olympic fold, uh, sports figures folding themselves into small small bits as they ride on bicycles? In fact, my category tonight has nothing to do with sports whatsoever, though it might have something to do with folding. Mm. Poker. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Protein? Poker. Proteins. Poker. Protein folding. Laundry. Laundry. Oh, laundry. That would be an interesting category. Somebody write oh, a category on laundry. I baby, see Mike Wolf baby, probably baby, writing man. it down right now. Pastry. Susan. Pastry. <laughs> Susan. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it, Casper. When can I do a category? Uh, I have openings next week. Okay, I'll take one next you. week. So I was merely hedging I my bets, and tonight's category is cathedrals. Ooh. What's it gonna do with folding? I have no idea. I was just hedging my bets. Oh. <laughs> you fold your hands in prayer. There you go. That's right. You can make an origami cathedral. <laughs> you can indeed. So, question one: What distinguishes a cathedral from an ordinary church? And I was going to say this. Who are we? Are we getting? Um, you should probably mute everybody. Yeah. Not me. Sorry about that. I'm muting everyone now. Three, two, one. Muted. Question one, what distinguishes a cathedral from an ordinary church? Question two, what architectural style are Notre Dame de Paris, Canterbury Cathedral, and Prague Cathedral examples of? Question three, cathedrals are often built in the shape of a cross with the altar at the top of the cross. 
What is the long bottom segment of a cathedral generally called? Question four. In which direction are cathedrals most often oriented in, in if possible? Are you looking for a single direction? Uh, no, I'm looking for a direction A to direction B. OK. Question five. What cathedral is the traditional site of the coronations of French kings? Question six, what was the most recent cathedral to have been the tallest building in the world? Or in other words, which cathedral was most recently the tallest building in the world? Question seven, to what denomination does the National Cathedral in Washington DC belong? It's a Christian cathedral, but I'm going to need something more specific than Christian. Scientology? Question eight. In what country is the largest cathedral as measured by interior area outside of Europe? And I'm defining Europe as Russia west of the Urals, Turkey west of the Bosphorus, and the Caucasus north of Turkey and Iran. So which cathedral is largest outside of that area? Or in what country is that cathedral? Question nine. What is the cathedral church of the Diocese of Rome of the Roman Catholic Church? And question 10, in what country was the first large permanent pipe organ for use in a cathedral installed? Any questions? They all seem self-explanatory. Anybody need, need help? Just not self-answering. <laughs> no, those are not self-answering. Question nine. You want a name, right? Yes, the name of the cathedral church. I'm not anticipating tens on this category. I was <laughs> trying not to in order to get some spread. Well, this is going to get a spread. I think I, you've I, done I, a really good job there, yeah. Caspian. Well, well done, Caspian. Caspian, it's not, is it easy? We should all know. <laughs> No, no, not well, in this case. Okay. All right. All right, let's go to our rooms. Good job. Off to your cloisters. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Amy's going to go to this one. And Newman, you were on, you were on if Briar, okay. And I give you your powers, right, Cass? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll see you in a little bit. Briar doesn't. Hi, Jim. Okay, good. All Yay, right, Jim. Jim Nosies? I am Jim. a fan of medieval architecture. We, we oh, need to yes. make up for oh, yes. the origami. I, think I, I doubt there's anything I know that Jim doesn't, so go, Jim. Go, Jim. Susan, what are you doing here? I'm on your team. You are? Because Caspian. Oh, because, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. He knows cathedrals, but he doesn't remember the rules of the game. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Well, team. I don't want to hog it. So, Carl, if you know some. No, he was just pretending. Uh, well, I, I think number one is something like it's the center of a diocese or something. It's the seat of a bishop. The seat of yeah. a bishop. Ah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Could guess it be archbishop, archbishop or 
bishop. Just bishop. Bishop. Okay. Uh, I I think two is French Gothic, but I'm not sure. I thought it was Gothic also. Yeah, I would just say Gothic. Yeah. So I just Gothic to be safe, so we don't. Right. Yeah. Yes. Spanish Gothic. Because you know, if it's in Prague or in England, it's probably not French Gothic. Um, I think they're normally situated with the um, facing to the west. Because the sun's always shining in on no, the no, that's number four. Three. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, that's the, right. the, the, oh, yeah, yeah. And three, I just have, I wrote down a guess, but I, I got it right. I wrote down Narthex, but I have no idea. It's, oh, Narthex is part of a church. It is the nave. Nave. Yeah, right, oh, yeah. I've heard that. N A V E. Yeah. N A V E. Yeah. Is N just N A V E? That's what I thought. Okay. And which uh, section are cathedrals most often oriented in? To facing to the west. I mean, it's east-west, east, west. yeah. I mean, it depends on what you call. Right. The uh, the rectory is on the east side. The uh, entrance is on, on the west side. Usually, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it'd I be west-east, right? Huh? The answer four? Mm -hmm. Well... Well, the east, west, 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 west. Which, I mean, yeah. They're, are we talking oriented. when you're facing the church, or which direction the church is looking the, out on? You walk the, in. The on main the, entrance is usually on the west end. Right. Yeah. Okay, so the answer is west. Yes. It's it's east west. Yeah. Because I asked him, do you want one direction, and he said, no, I want two. So it's okay. It's so east yeah. west. Or west, west, west east. West east east west. west. Same difference. We can there'll be a lot of debate right? on that, but we we Jim probably know the next one. What number five, I believe, is site according to I believe it's Rans, which is R E I M S. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. There's a this is worded weird. Number six, to no, it's, I mean, at some point, every tallest building in the world was a cathedral <laughs> until the Eiffel Tower took over. All right. All right. So if you take uh, Leonard's category and go back from present with, to past right. for the tallest building, what's the first one you will see that's the cathedral? Right. And I wish he had asked which one was which one was first the tallest <laughs> building in the world, because I know that for sure is Lincoln Cathedral. I think this one is Ulm, U-L-M. U-L-M. Um, oh, okay. it, it could be Cologne, but I think it's Ulm. Okay. Uh, number seven is uh, Protestant. I think it is a Protestant, think. but he said would he said it make it more specific, didn't he? I think say, yeah, Protestant is not generally a denomination, right? I um, think it's Episcopalian, but I'm just I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I, I would go Episcopalian, yeah. And that yeah, was my Episcopalian was fancy. my original guess because cathedrals tend tend to be Catholic or Episcopalian. I don't know how to spell it. Go for it, Ben. <laughs> if you're waiting for me to spell it, sound, yeah, sound it no, out. someone needs to spell it for me. E P I S C O P P A L E A N. Thank you, Jane. Uh, I think that's right. It hasn't. Like, enough. <laughs> not quite right. The end isn't right, but it's okay. I don't. Where they don't care about spelling. Yeah, right. That's right, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm I'm allowed to Google things. It was just looking up spelling, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm not looking up answers. And also spelling doesn't matter. Right, right. exactly. But I'm copying what you're writing, so <laughs> it's right. not our I, I like part. to be correct with the spelling. I'm just also happen to be a terrible speller. So you know, we have a entry is the largest cathedral. Outside of Europe. Interior area. Does anyone know this? Oh wow. I mean, there are a ton of cathedrals. I mean, any place the Catholic Church exists, there are cathedrals. Yeah. Right. Um is the United I, Kingdom technically outside of Europe for the purposes of this question? No. 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 Okay. I so figured. I think it it's USA or or South America? 
Central America. Some someplace in Latin America, or it could be in India. It, I mean, it could be anywhere. I, I don't know. I, I would think not... India would be highly on Brazil. Not that many Christians, let alone Catholics in India. How about Brazil? Brazil would be a good choice. There, there's a lot yeah. of Catholics there, and they do things big. Well, yeah. for this one, I'm willing to ignore the normal rule of anytime you ask the largest anything in a country, it's always China. Right. <laughs> I'll skip that. <laughs> you don't think the answer would be China? Well, do we know the name of the cathedral in Brazil? I don't. No. We don't need the name. We just need the country. Yeah. That's all. We need the country. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, Brazil is as good a guess as anything. Yeah. Brazil. Is I that was maybe yeah. thinking yep. South America as well, though I don't know why. Yeah. Argentina is also a possibility, I would think. Yeah. Uh, St. Peter's Basilica. Yep. For nine. That's what I wrote. Yep. Can you spell it right? Is it two yep. L's? One L. Uh, one L. One but L. That's, I, Woo other than the extra L, I think I did a uh, right. spelled it better than I did. I'm I leaning towards Germany on that one. I was leaning toward Germany as well, but hey, if we already have two people uh separately. I'm, uh, I'm with Germany. I, I don't Go know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm just yeah. A lot of gothic organs in Germany. Right. Well, we have a little time now. We went through them in a fairly decent Very time. Very good. So if we want to. Yeah. I know some of the oldest organs, but not necessarily the oldest organs are in Germany. Uh, unlike the last round where we were just pretty much scrambling at the end there to finish yeah. the yeah. questions. <laughs> we answered number four well, and then we had 57 seconds to go. That, yeah, that was tough. Uh, it was fun, informative, but a tough round. Okay, seat of a bishop, gothic, nave, west, east, what is that, reigns, right? Can I pronounce that? Home, for, for, eight, if, for eight, if we just need a country, just in terms of the costs involved, why not the United States? We have I, that's not a bad guess. You know? Yeah. That was, I'm leaning that way out, but uh, Brazil, oh, might, Brazil, Brazil has some crazy big. Uh, right. I think St. John the Divine, which is in Washington, I think, was at one point the largest. Well, there's also St. Patrick's in New York. That is enormous. Yeah. I don't think it's that, I mean, it's big. It's obviously very big, but, and, you yeah. know. It and looks less impressive because thinking? it's surrounded by skyscrapers. Yeah. And the problem is that the older uh, churches were no. taller. And so. I'll be right back. You know, this we're is making the interior a area, start. not height. Which one are you guys debating I mean, right now? Because I heard St. Patrick's come up. The largest cathedral outside of Europe. Because in New York, it's. I don't think it's that big. Okay. But I think St. John the Divine had this record when I visited in high school. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I am elderly. And so there are <laughs> many decades. Shut up. There are many decades <laughs> since then. They aren't building cathedrals every day. So your age is right. They're not. If but you think the it, idea if that they would build the a well, was right. it the record in the United States or in the world? I think it was in the world at the time, but there have yeah. been decades where they could have built one in Mexico City or like some big modern stadium type thing. Yeah. Yeah. You they know, they aren't building a lot of cathedrals anymore, especially in those places. They can't afford. But if them. you know, if we want to say USA, I'm good with that because we I'm fine built with that. Them. If that's what you guys think, I just thought Brazil just felt. I don't know why it just. I don't know the answer. It was, but just Brazil it's very Catholic, and they would build a giant church because they're very Catholic. But yeah, also in the it USA, the statue of Jesus, big. not for the church. Right. So, do you want to change it to USA? Yeah. Question eight. I'm leaning that way. Uh, okay. We can do that. 
Uh, he was very specific about the uh, Russia West of Ural, Turkey West of Bosphorus, and Caucasus North of Turkey. Yes, he was. I'm I think wondering... just because he knows that we're all dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pass that on to Caspian after this. <laughs> it's true. I will. We would become very, very detailed about these things. Mm-hmm. I'm comfortable with these answers. Well, we think we're good with switching aid to USA, right? Well, I think so. Okay. I mean, I'm fine either way. I'm just confirming. Although Carl, I think, is the official answer keeper anyway. I mean, I know I'm almost positive USA held the title when I was in high school. But again, okay. that's enough. That's, yeah. That was a long time ago. Not so, in terms so, of cathedral building, it isn't. So Notre <laughs> Dame, the one that just burned, that wasn't that big? Not really. It looked kind of I mean, it, but, it's but big. It, but it's outside of the, uh, it's in Europe. And this is outside of Europe. Right. We right. went to, um, Mark and I saw a cathedral in uh, Christchurch. They had a, a cathedral of sorts there. And then we also went to the one in... England, right about the time that the one in, in uh, burned in. Um, oh, we went to the one in New York. I think it was. Okay. Absolutely yeah, they had a fire. Beautiful, but they're not. They really aren't that big in um, girth. I mean, there's a lot of outbuildings. There's a lot of land they're on, and they're awful tall. But they're just not that big inside to put people. I mean, I guess you could put a thousand people in something in there. But yeah. It would be sweaty and hot. No, they they are long, narrow buildings. All right, so looks like we're done. All right, okay. other people are back. Good job, guys. All right, okay. We we work send close. everybody back for a minute. No, it's I, think, I think I got that caps, Caspian, the long axis. Okay. Yes. While everybody is here, since one group asked, I'm going to clarify to everybody. Question four is in reference to the long axis. Yeah. Cathedrals are rarely built in a square shape. So we only got a few seconds. We need more time. Yes, I think we should send everybody back and then how much longer do you think they need? Back. Two minutes? Give That's... them one minute, then call them back. Okay. So don't go back unless you really feel like no, you can we're go. staying here. When you say the long axis, which direct like when you if you're sitting in the pews. Is that the direction you're? Is that the direction you want, or the facing, or? If it's shaped like a cross, it's the long part of the cross. My team going right. back? No, I don't know. Peggy and Bob are back. My team is not. What Jim said is correct. Yes, I think Karen. I think your team is going back. Okay. No, I don't think we're going back, Karen, unless you feel we need to. Well, Bob's there. Peggy's there, and Leonard's there. We okay. kicked butt, so, so we're, we're good staying here. <laughs> we're going back. I thought I saw them. Newman said, I got this. I'm into Gothic ca uh, cathedrals. Mm. We'll see that. They're all, their whole team went back. I guess they're just talking in zip, the zip. Hmm. Should we have a song? If I only knew, if I like, if I was psychic with a crystal ball and those things worked, and I knew I was going to be playing these trivia games, I would like remember things like on all the tours of the cathedrals in Europe and going to the one in Washington D.C. I would have paid attention to what they were saying. You should have known, but I didn't. Even whenever you need someone for, for you, you actually got, still re you actually remember all I'm that ready. information, Rob. Hey, just, y uh, I so do much better, better at writing them than I do. Rob Talking is over each other. Can hear you, James. Oh, we, we remember everything we ever oh, Gail, did. You down. We just can't recollect. For which day? Which yeah, week? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Susan, which week did you put Next me down? Week. Next Look week. at how when you uh, get uh, category right. Memory. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, category. categories go. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I don't think memory works like that, James. I have no uh, clue. There's real good uh, art, uh, research on that. Um, um, Oh, music. Manchester Cathedral. Do, 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 do. I recognize that. Is that a song? Yeah. Manchester Cathedral. Big hit. It's a song about a cathedral. Mm -hmm. You ever heard this song? I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. You're bringing me down. I don't remember the words. No, don't do this half of I don't know why they did a song about it, but it's a very famous song. Perfect. Just that one. Even I know it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so far, I haven't known any else music in this place. <laughs> What was oh, that I'll, music? I'll have to I'll find out what era Win that was, and I'll do Winchester that. Winchester Cathedral. Yeah, does oh, everybody know, know Winchester Cathedral, the song? Yeah. yeah. Right. But it's really getting me down. It's oh. really oh. getting me down. Right. I, don't, I wonder what the story is behind that. It's an odd thing to be asking. All right, so I guess we're back. And Caspian, you're up. All right. Answers. Our, our burden. <laughs> to others. Question one. What distinguishes a cathedral from an ordinary church? It is the seat of a bishop. Oh. No, we all said that. Yay. Thanks, Isabella. You're welcome. Question two. The architectural style of Notre Dame de Paris Canterbury Cathedral and Prague Cathedral, they are Gothic cathedrals. Oh, all right. Okay. Cathedrals are generally built in the shape of a cross. The long bottom section is usually called the nave. Oh, that's right. Question four. Most cathedrals are oriented in an east-west direction. <sighs> altar on the east side of the building. The idea is that you will be able to see the sun rise through the windows on the east side. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we got that right, otherwise I would have felt like Good one, Richard. Yep. So with the seats pointing to the east. Yeah. Yes, facing the east. Question five. Rems Cathedral is the traditional site of the coronations of French kings. May I, Reims? I'm sorry. It's Reims. French, so it's not pronounced in anything that resembles a. It's pronounced. <laughs> Reims. Reims. That's the French pronunciation. It's my one ah. trick. It's the one thing I do. Just go with it. <laughs> And you say the S, which is unusual for French. That's like an old French. So how is it? How is it pronounced? Pronounced Yeah. Yeah. I will. I will never go to France. I will be. I, I think it is an old French word because it's spelled funny for French. How is it spelled? I'm not even you getting what this the is. Final S. R E I M S. -E yeah. And that, that See, that you can tell that I did not take French in high school. Right. Oh, he took German. Question six. The most recent cathedral to have been the tallest building in the world, that is Köln Cathedral. <gasps> Got it wrong! Oh, where is that? Germany. Germany. Way Cologne. to go, Leonard! Cologne. How do you spell it? Oh, ah. uh, Cologne, like you want well. it spelled in English or German. What is it? Cologne. Well, in German it's Köln. But yeah, in, in, in English, English it's Cologne. Cologne. In German it's Köln. My second guess. Girls. I'm going to post oh, the God. answers in once I'm done. <laughs> okay, yeah. Girls. That was the answer it's to okay, one of the questions. Girls, of that was an answer in <laughs> my uh, bonus. Second tallest was the aftershave. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Question seven. Oh, bad, bad. The National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. is an Episcopalian. Yeah. Yeah. We even spelled it right. Go, Aaron. <laughs> Caspian, Caspian, will you accept Goyim? 
As, it is. <laughs> As I said, that is not specific enough. <laughs> that, that's even more general than Christian. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Question eight. The largest cathedral outside of Europe is Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City, the United oh, States. Wow. Oh, wow. It's an Episcopalian job, cathedral. Wow. We were, we were really in the Brazil, and then we said, let's go with the USA. That was great. Yeah. Yep. The, Leonard the knows a lot street. about these cathedrals for a Jew, I tell you. Uh, I was going to say, a <laughs> Jewish guy was a lot more help than you would have <laughs> thought. <laughs> How many, how many of you have been in the Cathedral of St. John the Divine? Where, My mom where, has. Where is it in Manhattan? Um, 110th and uh, Morningside. Oh, man, that was right near City College. No, no idea. I never went there. I've not been to New York City. Big, big damn building. Susan, Gotta we go. should go to New York City. We should go to New York City. I've never been. Oh, it's so bother. much fun. I've been don't in bother. New York, but New York City, no. Don't, don't bother. You haven't Question. been in New York if you haven't been to New York City. New York, I've New been to New York. Great. New York. City that never sleeps. Yeah. And if you can make it there. You can make it, you can make it anywhere. Well, is it wrong? <laughs> and is it up to you, Jack Checkers, Robin check to see if Ulm Cathedral, U-L-M, was the tallest in the world after Cologne. Um, and I believe it was. Hmm. I will check after this. Question nine. The Cathedral Church of the Diocese of Rome of the Roman Catholic Church is the Archbasilica of St. John Lateran, Damn. which oh, is the seat okay. of the Bishop of Rome, also known as the Pope. The Pope, the Pope, the Pope. It is not St. Peter's Cathedral. Damn. Or St. Peter's Basilica, I should say. We, that's what we what? Oh, that's the difference. Ooh, it's a basilica. I demand so, a recount. So what was the difference what? between a basilica? What is a basilica? Um... Uh. I'm not actually sure. Um, a Got basilica is... It's a lot of money, a... isn't it? Oh, and uh, Ulm is not a cathedral and has never been a cathedral. It is a minster. What the? Minster, right? Way of the minster? Westminster. Yeah, it's Lutheran. Well, Luther, I believe Lutherans have bishops, but it's... Yeah, but a... we don't have cathedrals. Oh, the difference, Rob. The we difference don't, we don't of designate them as cathedrals. Rob, yes, a basilica. Role. It has to be, um, like, it has to. There, it has to do something with like being named after like a saint, or it has to be a place where you can ordain saints. That's been oh. officially like declared by the Pope well, in a formal you. ceremony. It's a whole thing. Like the one, there's a basilica near us at the Carmel Mission. That's a basilica because it's been ordained. The Pope went there, and there's been all this stuff that's happened there, so it's considered a basilica. Okay, thank you. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> it drama. is. Just drama. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> and question 10. The country where the first large permanent pipe organ for use in a cathedral was installed at Halberstadt Cathedral in Germany. Yeah. Yay. I thought it was Switzerland. One. We talked ourselves out of it. Yep. Yep. We had Germany went to Austria. Okay, let me copy this over. Nine. Did as well. Very good. Lots of great yeah. questions. We did okay, I think. It sounds like you guys did probably okay. So I'm getting this copy. You do and you're sleepy guy. Isabella, <laughs> ask me about my trip to uh, Manhattan after the game's over. If you stay. I will. We just went yesterday. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. I want to go back to New York. I love New York. I love New York. I'll be there in, uh, next next week. Oh, oh, what are you going for? Oh, no. uh, for work, it's a, uh, there's a charity ride going from Staten Island to Buffalo. Go to Rod? Buffalo and go see the bike ride. ride. I've been to Buffalo like three times. So what's your involvement with that, Jim? Uh, management. Wait, bicycle as in like, mm -hmm. not, yeah, not yeah. as in sports. Yeah. <laughs> as in <Tour> de <laughs> That's a long ride. Yeah, it's like eight days. Oh, you ride a bike for eight days? Yeah. They are not me. Oh, <laughs> oh you're I'm not, not riding. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
You sound like gonna... Michael Sherber or something. I was ready to go oh, and cheer no. you on. I was going to bring a sign. Sure. In there. Oh, yeah. I was going to get a sign that says to grandma and grandpa. And... Okay. He's the support vehicle. He carries the extra bike wheel. <laughs> go, James. <laughs> okay, so oh, let me ask, table? of course. Now, if these are really tight. You put a cork in your mouth and a string. You, you can just... Oh, don't be driving the car, pulling the cork. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, these are very, very tight. We're at 19, 20, 20, 20, and 19. Mm -hmm. I think that changed. Uh, okay, so 17 years for a seven-mile, four-mile view, four-minute view? Five. Ooh. We're on fire! Four. Weaponized ham slammers. Five. If Ryer doesn't retire, our fat's going to be in the fire. Thanks to Jim Newman, eight. Oh. Oh. Okay. A square of square squaredly squared. Also eight. Wow. Oh. Oh. Thanks to our two, we got them all really close. <laughs> Oh, you're the same. Here we go. Damn. I still think the answer is Goya. That broke, that broke us up a little bit. <laughs> Goyam is everything. But we sure it's still really oh, tight with those two 28s and 28s. So, um, yeah, 23, Four 24, 25, oh, 28, and 28. So, now I gotta, Deborah's I gotta, got the pressure now. Okay, Deborah, yeah. you're going to be able to. Mess up a little bit here. Try some room in between these. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so okay. this is the bonus round, you guys. So um, before I say the category, I want, I know I want to make a is little- Is it about Olympics? <laughs> no, it's not about the Olympics. Any, no, nowhere close. Or Wombats. Um, a lot of people on teams um, will help their team by taking notes on screen with some kind of word processor or spreadsheet or something. And you can do that for this category only if you don't have spell check or autofill or any of that stuff. If you can type the words and have your computer not fix them if they're wrong, mm. then you can leave it on. But otherwise you've got to go back to the old Way of doing it with a Ooh. pen and a paper. Yeah, I've got a legal nope. pad, pad or write. I, what my what are those things well, you're talking about, check. Deborah? What's what is this paper thing you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yellow. In other words, using Word or any of those things it would be considered cheating in this category. Uh oh, it's okay. spelling. Something about spelling. Yeah, you got to oh. that. Oh. Use no and in trouble. You can so, use Notepad. That doesn't. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. It, it, you can turn it, off your spell checker on your text editor. Yeah. If you can turn it off, that's fine. I don't think Notepad does. I always use Notepad. It doesn't have it. I don't think. No, it nope. doesn't spell. Yeah. Okay. All right. On. Well, that's fine. Um, so anyway, this is going to be about the most frequently misspelled words. <laughs> so can we silence Ooh, everyone? No. So in which short. in yeah. which version of English? Oh, ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> well, I could miss a dyslexic lot of words. You everything. Everything. I know you know our everything. words. You know our words, Richard. All right. So, reading everybody. Three, two, one. Okay. So, in May this year, CNBC published a list of the 32 most often misspelled words. So, your job is to come up with nine of the ones that are on that list. And you, of course, don't have to spell them correctly to identify them as long as they're recognizable as those words. And you know, if you, if you found, if you get seven, then you get seven points. Or if you get nine, you get nine points. In order to get 10 points, you have to get nine of the words that are on the list and they all have to be correctly spelled. So you have to agree in your group how they're going to be spelled, and you have to agree on exactly nine words. Okay, and that's it. And I will show you a, a table that has all the words when we come back. Can I ask a question? Yes. So let's say uh, we have the grammatical error of saying your while you are and while you are ye. Um, that would technically be both a grammatical error and a misspelled word. Is that type of thing 
possibly on the list? I don't think it's going to come up. Okay. Deborah, did you say that that the the list you're getting this from where? New York Times or where was the Washington Post? Uh, CNBC. And I, you, I looked at a lot of lists. There uh -huh. was a list of hundred words. There was a list of ten words. Or you know, and um, a lot of them had the same words. But obviously, I wasn't going to do a hundred. Right. Is this the <laughs> thirty-three? Did you say or thirty-two? There's a list of thirty-two. 32. And, and you have to come up with nine. And you have to come up with nine. And to get the tenth point, you have to spell those nine correctly. Correct. But you can correct. get nine points even if you don't spell them correctly, as long as they're recognizable as those words. And that I'm just gonna leave that up to you know your honesty that you. you I'm know. glad you didn't say what is the most misspelled word because that was. Gonna be I have no idea what word that is. <laughs> so. Um, I have a question. Uh huh. Is this weighted by frequency of use? No, not as far as I know. Are they all I mean, common words? Oh yeah, they're all common words. Okay. It's okay. rated by frequency yeah, no of misspelling. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're rated by frequency of misspelling. And you know, of course, up to which, which means that frequency of use is important because yeah. yeah. they are much more frequently misspelled if they're used more often. Does right. it include words that are misspelled because there's two versions of them, like homonyms and you use the wrong homonym? I don't want to there, give some there might be one word like that out of the 33 it'll become plain because it, it, it's based on the meaning of the word you'll be able to tell when you see the table um and you'll know whether you just picked the wrong word or if you spelled it wrong i think there's only one word on there that's like that though okay and you're going and it's any nine from the whole list any nine from the whole list so I think the strategy is to come up with words that are have a correct spelling. Mm. And why nine and not 10? Because I wanted to save the 10th point for you being able to spell the nine. Oh, in other words, if you spell them all correctly, you get, you get 10th point. point. OK. Yeah. Got it. Oh, my god. I will be sleeping badly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Actually, this may I may excel at this because I sure as hell know what words I cannot spell. Oh, I have a question. <laughs> my my a question. problem is there's too many words I can't spell, as people know when I keep <laughs> That's noticing. Good, Rob. I have a question. Yes. What if a, what if you spell all nine of your words correctly, but some of them aren't on the list? Well, no. then, you, then you only get however many you get. Yeah, <laughs> like, I well, for the ten words, for the, the the spelling tenth point, if you spell them all correctly. But some of them aren't on the list. You still get that tenth point. No, no, you have to have all nine correct points. before you spell get the tenth point. Exactly, right. that's right. Okay. All right. Good job. This is a good one. Here we go. Good so luck, everybody. Nine. May the force be with no. you. If you spell the spelling one. force, the spelling bees one. of the world, be with you. I am going to go to. We're on fire. Uh -huh. Okay, so what are the words that we always misspell? Misspell is one of my always misspell. <laughs> I'm doing a share screen. Oh, yeah, niece is a good one. But you know what? There can't, I don't think there could be right because that's, well, that's the question like, I was asking. Yeah, that's a very, that's it's what a, I thought you were going to say because you're It's a very spell. good question. You can use the wrong word, but it's still spoke correctly. Yeah. Like there, there, and there. But if that's what I asked her, she said one of them may be that. Yeah. Which I agree, which could be you, your or your. I, I, well, let's see what we come up yeah. with. There's a good, good, yeah. Yeah. Niece, yes, I always get that one wrong. Especially mm. is one of my words that I just always have trouble with. I've turned off the spell checker in my text okay. editor. Right. Well, you are spelling I'm pretty right. good at spelling. Restaurant. Um, restaurant. Restaurant. Oh, kidnapped. Really? Yeah, because uh, those ones that you can't remember, or oh, I. What am I saying? Vacuum. This is a That's really cool. tough. Round. Kidnapped. I'm going to say is broccoli. Tweet. Because mm -hmm. it depends on the person if they know how to spell the word and they don't consider it yeah. a word that they right. would miss. But it is on a list. There's 33 on a list. Uh, so these are 33 words that most people get spelled wrong. 
Yes, and we have to come up with nine of them. But I'm guessing that they can't be homonyms. I mean, they, like your and your, that's not what they mean. I don't think, well, yeah, I don't think. That. That. But she, she alluded to there could be. be one. She alluded to Why? Yeah, but that's one. one of 33. I think we should just avoid them. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's keep, broccoli. let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Okay, broccoli. To nine and we'll yeah. replace. It just turned I out that I'm, I've always been pretty good at spelling for whatever reason. So I can't even think of wrong spellings. Yeah. Oh, I have. I, I think, I'm I'm bad at spelling, but oh, I have one. Just so angel yes. and angle, but then I guess that would probably not be a misspelling. That would be a good. That's just a typo. That's a yeah, yeah. miss misuse word. I saw broccoli on a list. That I think yeah. broccoli could be on a list. Yeah. Did I spell that right? No. <laughs> Does it have two L's? No. Mississippi. It's something. One L. No. One L. There we are. That makes the point. Probably that doesn't point. look right. That doesn't look right at all. Broccoli. No, right. B R O C C O L I. That doesn't look right. Yep. <laughs> oh. uh, are you look at the look wrong? I gotta assign Gail to her team. She's for some reason mm -hmm. not. What about things like Cincinnati? Can we put names of towns? Cincinnati people oh. get wrong. I don't think these are oh, any. Oh God, I can't spell the proper name. <laughs> Um, let me think. I used to keep a list of words that I had trouble with. Oh, I have a I have a notebook. I keep. Yeah, I used to. Have I've, I've got a, actually. I've got a book back here. Of foreign. Words I, trouble with. I can never remember foreign. Foreign is one of those ones that's kind of hard. Um. There's several I, I look up every time and I can't think if I've got it right because it always looks it looks correct even if I say it wrong. Um, so we're up to nine. So if you have a new one, you also have to suggest which one we should take out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think we should just keep writing them down for the next two, couple or, of minutes and then we can okay. review I do too. them. Yeah. Um, sausage. Jewelry. Jewelry, sausage, jewelry. Um, I if think anyone, there's more than one way to spell jewelry too, which could be a thing. No, this is it. Conscience. Conscience. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. There's another word that I, I've had to look up so many times. It's uh, cognitive, not cognitive. What is it when it called whenever you're, you're, hold on a second. It's, it's, um, it's a term they say, uh, Carol Tava says that you have <laughs> when you're what? trying to yes cognitive yes. not cognitive it's um that's confirmation no it's the other word it starts with a C it's that word that you say when when you're holding two thoughts in your mind and they can't they can't yes I know the term it's um give me a second give are you thinking of dissonance no, it starts with this. No, I know what she's thinking about. I just have to sit with my in my head for a second and it'll come out. No. Cognitive. Cognitive, Cognitive. Cognitive di dissonance. Dissonance, that's it. Dissonance. Dissonance. No, no, dissonance, like this way. Cognitive dissonance. Actually, I misspell anything with vowels in them. <laughs> I can't get my vowels correct. <laughs> You spell cat C U T. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, dissonance, dis dissonance. I'm always having to look that word up. Anything with that. Um, Did I say kidnapping? But I don't think that word would come up so infrequently, Susan. Kidnapping? Dissidence. It just it, it well right now people any... have been talking about cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Dissonance, so <laughs> it's not really that difficult to spell. Community. There's nothing weird in it. Are you kidding? I don't even think that looks February D Oh, February is another one. February is a good one. Yeah. Do February, you think yeah. a lot of people misspell February? Yes, oh, yes, I do. That's a proper noun. Do is is are any Ooh. proper names included? I think Good question. 
nucleus. I, I think February would be okay. It's just, just not like a personal now, like a... I think you'll like find that the scores are going to be very mixed. So I'm not too worried. Because it's um, such a... There are so many words that will be considered. It's 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 a it's a huge category. This one, right? Um, I think we've done yeah. really good. People spell it okay. like nuclear. Nuclear. People I would replace. Them. I'd replace so, your and there with go, February. Yes, and. Yeah. If Deborah comes back, we should ask her if there's any proper nouns. Yeah, in there. Um, I think there's. I, I think there's a good a good one to keep, but you know, I'm not too worried. I think. I think February. Oh, which one is, is it? Is it February? Is a good one. It's well, that's a, a good point. Which there problem. is it? Yes, good point. Is it there, there, or there? <laughs> um, but grammar. Do you yeah. think phenomenon yeah. is more used than dissidence? Yes. Yeah. Far, far, far more. Yeah. How would you spell nuclear wrong? I, I mean, I could see. People spell it as a new like Nuclear. Oh, you yeah, the you vowels. You put vowels in the wrong place. Uh, That's a good word. They yeah. pronounce it as nuclear. So N U C U L A R. That's how it's uh, people. It's spelled That's nuclear. Right. The, nuclear. This is correct. I would put the, I would put an extra e in before the c and yeah, I yeah no. If so it's, it's spelled, a vowel. How, how does anyone you, have any issues with the way I've spelled any of these here? These are all correct, 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 but then you're asking. Okay, yes. Okay. I think those are all of those are good, and I think the ones that are left over are all good. Also, also here's Deborah. Yeah, Deborah, I'm worried. Yeah. Are any of these proper nouns or proper names? I don't think for so. Example, for example, well, you can't ask her about February. I, mean, I can't ask you about a specific one, but are any of the ones on the list are? Yeah, proper names included in the list, like a Capitalized name of word. a city or a month or something. Pretty sure not. Hold on. Not okay. That's a good clarification. Thank you. <laughs> Let me check. How's everybody doing? Oh, yep. Seems like it's a really big topic. It could be so many things. Let's see. No, no proper nouns. All right. Um, well, one one uh, word that's spelled wrongly. I don't know how common is Pharaoh. People get it wrong. Oh yeah, Pharaoh is a really good one. But that's also but it, a proper it's, title. Oh, it's and also it's, and it's not commonly used. It's not commonly used. I mean, it is it. I don't know if it would be considered an English word. I mean, it's a. Oh yeah, I mean it's a word. It's it's, it's common usage in, in, in English. Is it considered a Pharaoh. proper noun? No, but I, like I would it. just suggest it, it only if it's not, in front of somebody's name. It is not used all that often, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm happy with this list. I'm happy with the list. Yeah. Is so we're gonna take those last four off. I would maybe yeah. switch conscience for broccoli. No, broccoli's really misspelled. I, I saw that in a list of commonly misspelled words. I have a feeling mm -hmm. too. that's okay. something something like this. I mean, it came up in another discussion that we had in our skeptics group. So when we go back to the big room, Mike, can you can you tick off the scores because you've got them written down on your system? If that's all right. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll tick them off. So oh, thanks. We're it's going question. with this top these top nine. Well, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Unless yeah, anyone run, make sure anyone see any misspellings there. This, these spellings are correct. Okay. You yeah, know, I thought so. Espresso but. is espresso a candidate? People say espresso. Oh, yeah. well, that's another one. Yeah. Algorithm is another one that I have to look up. But we don't say that that often. Yeah, I, I don't. That might be too technical for a common. Um, but. 
I think we're I think we're I think we're pretty I good. think we're pretty good. I mean they're as good as any. You know what, Janine, those are probably would be on the list. I mean, if we had a name 30, I bet yeah. you, I bet you espresso would well, definitely be on there. Although well, I don't, we I have to... it's I guess espresso is not really a proper name, but it could be. It's hard no. to unless you name your dog it. <laughs> espresso, come here. <laughs> Also, the way you're pronounced, it's espresso without an X. I yeah. don't drink coffee, so I don't Which is, of course, know. why people would misspell it. <laughs> espresso, but. yeah. And, and anything that would have like a exceptional. No. Exceptional is a good word. <laughs> I O N A L. wonder what I, the, the, the least um, misspelled word is. Probably A. Okay. <laughs> I am. Uh, Copy these to the. Uh, I will copy them to the chat as well. So, I think we did really well. Copy these to the chat. Are we? Are we all happy? See. Yeah. I'm yeah. predicting a score of three. I okay. got it. All right. I'm gonna close the rooms. I Hold should. On, we should I should go back to the big room. Uh, everybody, think they're closed. Should we close the room? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think almost everybody's done. I'm going to go back to the big room. Oh, it's too late. I was going to go back no, to the big room. We only have book. nine in there. We're missing one of no, the last. The tenth, point, the tenth point you get if you spell them all correct and get nine. I understand that, but we didn't have something for nine. Yeah. Did I, yeah, we, yeah we, What's the ninth one? Foreign. Oh, foreign. Did you not okay. see that? Yet? I mean, it's in the. I just was looking at what you had copied and it was, yeah. it didn't it get included. A, like, I didn't see yeah. it. Okay. Deborah, I did really good because I know, I know there's words that I really misspell badly. And so getting it down to nine was hard. <laughs> good job, you guys. Good job, team. Yeah. So. Every time I hear your name, it just like takes me to the character Peggy and then I start singing songs. Well, you know, they might have like groups for people like you that need to, <laughs> that need to get you. over it. <laughs> they No, they have groups for people like me and it just makes it worse because then you have other people who share that same enthusiasm. So then it's like popping up even more often in your life. No, I'm thinking more like AA type groups. <laughs> what type of group do you need? I have no idea what they're talking about, but that's not. a 12 step group to stop Hamilton. There's another not even group. just Hamilton. It's like musical lyrics in general. Yeah. As soon as somebody says a word that's in the lyrics of something I know well, oh. I, that's stuck in my head for the rest of the That's what I, I do the same thing, Kelly. That's awful. <laughs> Karen, what were you saying? There's another Kelly Burke. When... Yeah, basically. <laughs> Gail's having it. a lot of trouble tonight. <clears throat> there is. Burke in the screen. Fun fact, Kelly Burke on Kelly Burke. Oh, Fun fact, there is also another oh, Kelly Burke. Oh, there's screen. another I Kelly Burke. Oh, I see. He changed his name. That's why he's. Who is the real Kelly Burke? She doesn't look we, like that. We have. Uh, uh, is that Kelly? Glamour in, Kelly. Is that Kelly on Mars? And then we have Kelly in space. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Are you ready for your answers? Yep. Yeah, that was All fun. Right. But Good. boy, how to get it down to nine? That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. I haven't tried doing this before, but it's the winnowing. It's the hard. Well, we're all gonna be experts on Zoom here. No kidding. I tell you, we kick ass at Zoom. Oh, there we go. All right. Accommodate. Wow. More than nine. Oh wow, we didn't do as good as I thought. Acquire. I should have thought of that one. Oh my oh. gosh! Look at this. Oh, maintenance. I can never spell Receive. maintenance. Receive. Oh man. Oh, we don't have to be the top nine. That's not thirty-three. Un is 32. Until is on that list. What? Yeah, people will spell it with two L's. All really? Oh, oh. oh that is thirty-two. Wow. The cult did not have a capitalization. I don't know why. I thought I. Fixed and it. fulfill is often spelled with just a. Uh, one L P. Oh my gosh! I don't think we did any of these. And everyone spells it. Oh my it god! Right? I don't think we've ever gotten a zero before. And I, I don't think. I, I guess a lot of people think getting laid off means something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, how can you miss? How can you misspell LED? 
Well, people, mis- oh. <laughs> they misspell it. They should have put lead. They misspell it like lead. L-E-A-D. 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 They, they mis- L-E-A-D. They, they, I was, was making I was a joke. joking. <laughs> they, they misspell it diode. No. <laughs> that makes uh, sense. Oh, I my God. Listed here. I think that's they Why did no? definitely not on this list. It's not on this list. How do you miss Bill experience? That's ridiculous. Experience? Wow. Experience? Why? Experience. Why? No, you get your eyes. Yeah, yeah, I think you're underrating the difficulty mm-hmm. of that word. Or- but I want to know why definitely is not on here because people always spell it as defiantly. Yeah, it was on our list too. I agree. It was on some other lists. Withhold. How one. do you spell oh, with one H? Yeah, you spell how, you with spell, two how do you misspell until? And two I don't see two L's, two L's. Is oh. pastime really spelled with one S? Yes, I've so. been spelling that one wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's not past time, it's past. Yeah, you've got you've got your spell check trained. I think a, a pastime is something that you have for a hobby. It's my pastime. Right. Oh. is a pastime. I think that's P A S S T I M E. You pass the time. Yeah, well, that's the obvious. Yeah, I tell you what, you should have just given us a different word. We should have had. We might have had one point to not get a gen. Last time, spelled P A S T I M. That's correct. That's that's correct there. Wasn't there supposed to be thirty something words? There are. There are. Two two words. Yet another eight times four. Yep. So can we see how the scores did not change? (laughs) (laughs) Come Uh, on, somebody had to have gotten some points. So to get the spelling point, if you missed some of them, but the ones you did get, you spelled right, you still don't get the spelling point. You have all nine of the three. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so let me let me. Yeah, Let me ask you the question. Did anybody get a point? Yes. We got two. Yes. Yeah. We got two. Ooh. Okay, so which point. team is that? 17 years for four minute view. We got two. Okay. Did anybody else get a point? Yeah. Got- oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? We got six. Okay. Six. All right, let five. me ask that. Okay. Weaponize, weaponize ham slammers. Zero. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, a square of square squaredly squared. Five. Oh, wow. Crap. And then 17 years, you got two. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. If and the if Briar doesn't retire, are fat's gonna be in the fire? Six. Six? Six. 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 That's amazing. Really? And we're on fire. None. No way. Wow. We're on fire. The fire we're is put out. on fire. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, wow, you guys got some right. So are there just a lot of good spellers around here? <laughs> it's not like I just spell all these spell words. I just stuck them that. on the list. <laughs> well, I, I'm well, for being no, we, a speller. Well, we, we're bad spellers because all these other words yeah. we have we can't spell, so we thought they'd be on the list. February, yeah. oh, Wednesday, okay. thorough. Neighbor. Yeah. February also. Oh, yeah. The Rest- we, restaurants. We had neighbor. We we, we argued restaurant. about February, but yeah. I, you know, I tend to pronounce the words the way they're spelled that way you kind of remember yeah we had restaurant spell them yeah restaurant's a good one. Oh yeah restaurant yeah. is a good one we had really good words right we Rock had con- uh, we had conscience but then conscientious was the one that was on the list oh that's oh, a good one yeah. right yeah, good yeah. One. Said vacuum oh, vacuum is a much. bad one well, why don't you claim you got the word and you just misspelled it so you don't get the 10 point? <laughs> <laughs> we misspelled it so we bad. We got all nine. We, we didn't see that was so bad. We're we are embarrassed that we definitely we had nine. We just misspelled them all very badly. Oh, we misspelled all the words. We don't know. Oh, man. Okay, so before I reveal the scores, I'm going to just let you know what's going on next week. We have uh, Rob, followed by Isabella, followed by Gail, followed by Blank, Falling by blank. Susan, could you make me go third next week, if yeah. possible? Okay, because I'm 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 probably going to be late. Okay, I'm hearing. I've got one. Who said that? Yeah. Me, yeah. Jeffrey. 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 Got one. Who wants a bonus? Because otherwise, we could do men on the team's face. No, God, somebody do no. a bonus. No, somebody pick a bonus. Pick a bonus. <laughs> I can pick a we bonus. See the, I can do a, we'll can show bonus. the pictures, but oh, just- Karen wants to do that because she's got psychic power. I, I want to see more pictures. 
Okay. But then oh. again, I did well the last round. You can do that on the really double get, The mono, average score mono was two. In. Mono jumped in. He says no, no. I, I somebody else can do it. I'm, I just jumped. No, in. please do it, Mono. Please, please, Mono. What? Please, please, Mono. Pictures. If you do physics concerts, uh, con, 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 uh, uh, physics. Yes, I will do better than any pictures that are stuck. Yeah, in me too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do the scores and see how we all did. Bible. Standard uh, particle right. physics. That's and then, and then the following week after that, I don't have anything too. So just let me know if you want another category. If somebody else wants a category, Hamilton is just really upset. Susan, Hi Hamilton. I, I have What's to wrong say, with Hamilton? I love the I love the random cattails that show up. What's video. wrong with Hamilton? Lots of attention. <laughs> he got this he angry letter from an A burr, and he's. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do something to Hamilton, Susan? Well, Mark is getting ready to go to bed, and he closed the office door. So that there's a little gap about this, uh, and I think that's the problem. Is Hamilton can't think. He's standing at the door mewing. Oh, the door my cats don't like any closed doors. No, I hate closed it's doors. not closed. It's open like this. Well, it's I just a little tail. Well, my cats are just open it all the way. The my cats, my cats are inept. I'm sorry, my cats. How's Imogen? Before we leave, can all someone? Right, of course. What what two categories did I miss? What were the first two categories tonight? They were Tour early. de France with Romero and Summer Olympics was the That's second. Oh category. man, I would have been great at that category. Darn, and you we, that was we Peggy. Used you. And then Oregon. <laughs> we needed you. Yeah, we needed you. I have a PowerPoint. I can show it all again. <laughs> hey, you know what, Mike? There's a video out there that will be There's done. There's a PowerPoint mm -hmm. for you, Mike. Like tomorrow morning, there'll be a video. We, we actually mm -hmm. didn't do badly on that one. Okay, seven. let's look at the scores, you guys. Oh, and you could lost. report on what a difference you would have made. That's true. Oh, we might have had 10. <laughs> okay, here we go. Where are first one? I know who won. I would like to say that this was a great category, this bonus round. No, it was fun. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of puzzling out, and it was really hard. It was really hard. It was a well, great category, Deb except for that 10th point I had no hope for. Yeah, yes. so we should have oh. just gone, Debbie should have just said the top, just give us two. Oh, one <laughs> point. Oh. Woohoo, we oh. weren't in last place, weaponized oh. ham slammers. Yay. <laughs> oh. So the winner tonight is if Briar doesn't retire, our fat's going to be in the fire. And that oh. is Ben, Gail, James, Carl, Newman, Caspian, and Jamie. Congratulations, team. Bravo, team. Right. Yeah, very good. And you know what? It was a hard fought win. You guys all did really good. The categories were terrific tonight. It was, it was uh, right up to the wire there, till category four, and then the bonus. That's really that was the biggest spread, I think. Right? Is it six to two? Just the bonus? Six to two. Yeah. The bonus really, really. But the bonus was spread. the biggest spread. I think that's yeah, where so. it should be. When we write yeah. these, I think that the bonus should be kind of the, mm. you know, that it should be kind of close until we get to the bonus, and then you're like, it could go anywhere because who knows what mm. you might end up doing. That's that's the way to think about it, Mono, for next week. So, so I, I actually have I have a bonus set, but I like didn't want to do it because I thought it would do just what happened tonight. But maybe it's okay. I'm I'll sorry. put you down for a future bonus. Okay. Can you can you repeat that again? Uh, can you repeat that, Susan? What? What you just said about. Uh... Well, it's nice that a bonus isn't something where we're all going to end up getting like nines and tens on, or all okay. zeros on, right. zeros and ones. If you can get a good, like, really makes people just, sure. go, you know, I think that a bonus is a is a is a. I mean, some of the better bonuses we've had in the past that really messed people up were like, um, you know what? Every time I see a subway now, I'm thinking of you, Jeff, <laughs> with the top food. Uh, hey, let's ask, let's ask Jamie over there. And, and um, do you have a lot of subway restaurants over there? Franchise? Hmm? You're on mute. You're muted, Jamie. Jamie, you're muted. He sure is telling us a lot, but it's. <laughs> oh, no, no, we, we do. We, there's actually subways. It's definitely. But all the um, the tourist areas are shut down now. So there's no one. There's no one there. All the McDonald's and Burger Kings, everything is shut down here. Oh, so no. that was a that was a bonus question we had a, a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Jeff did was yes. what are the top 10? No, no. 
yeah, what was the top 10 franchise? Well, that's yeah, top 10 by number of restaurants franchise. around the world Location by number. volume, and, and Subway was number one. So, uh, yeah, in Bangkok, yeah, there's Subway. I was really surprised. <laughs> I've been Bye AFC. Bye. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Hopefully Ben yeah. and Jamie come back again. It was yeah, fun. Thank you. And that we mix fun. it up. And then when you're brave enough, you can do your own category. <laughs> so uh, follow, follow the um, uh, YouTube and we'll have a um, video up tomorrow. Is Mano yeah, still here? I, I uh, yeah. I'm so Mano, better. I have a bonus if you if you don't want to do one, I can do that instead of the category. I put you down, it's fine. Rob. I put you down for a bonus. No, because Rob, I've already no. given you a category. Wait, Rob can go ahead. That's fine. No, Rob's already got a category. But somebody else could do the category. I'll do the bonus. <laughs> so you and Mono decide who wants category, who wants bonus. You want to do a category, Mono? Uh, the question that I have is most suitable for a bonus. But... Okay, let him do bonus. All right, you do bonus. I'll do category. Okay. And then Rob, I put you for but bonus no. for another week. That's fine. Okay. Mono's never done a bonus. Uh, no, I haven't. Mm -mm. And then the following week, it's empty, you guys. Just saying. I'm trying to think whether I can change it into a category. It won't work as well. You, so. you can pen somebody Just in for the next week. Keep, keep, okay, it, as a, keep it as a bonus, Mono. Okay. Well, I think it's still mulling over if you want to do one. She's and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll think about uh, uh, doing a category of uh, um, particle, particle mass in particle physics. Constance, in particle yes, physics. Yeah. Is he yes, saying so. he wants to do a... Yeah. Well, the seventh, category. eighth, and ninth digits yeah, you have of to be, fundamental constants. You have to get it right at least to that. It'll be a series yeah. of Fermi diagrams. Okay. Uh, no, I, I no, have don't, got don't to move ridiculous. on, so I'm going to make like a baby and head out now. It's Feynman diagram. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> it was a great night. Good it's night, everyone. Thank you, Susan. Fun. Thank you so much. Fun meeting new people. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Good to meet you, Jamie.